Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to this first format of the Unranked to Master full educational series. In this series, basically I'm playing from silver, gold, platinum, emerald, diamond and master tier. And throughout all these elos, I'll be giving you all my thought process. I did that so you can see what you need to do in your elo. Of course, there's a lot to learn for all of us. So I hope I can help you out with this. If you like it, feel free to subscribe and you can also watch the next Unranked to Master series on my streams. If you want to see that and which champion you would love to see, type it down in the comments. Wish you a wonderful time with this video and now we'll just start right away. My blade is yours. All right, let's get it started. This is our first Unranked to Master full educational game. I'm now in a round a silver elo, bronze, silver. So this is the lowest tier we will be. I will be showing you exactly what you need to do. But before, I would love to first share some overall knowledge. First of all, when do you take flash and when do you take ghost with Master Yi? Both is completely fine. If you are below Master tier, I would recommend to mainly take flash. Because flash with flash you're allowed to do many mistakes and flash is very simple and you don't need to play that well. I would recommend to take ghost whenever you are... We're swapping here with the mid laner because we see enemy picked already. Vi, that's most likely gonna be the jungler. We take ghost when you're extremely good at sidestepping ability, so that's better with lower ping. Ghost is very good early game to gank and ghost is generally good against champions where you can sidestep the enemy's abilities very well. <clears throat> Against champions like Lissandra, Allister, Ghost is not gonna do anything because they have point and click and they have knockback against the Sin. So against those I would recommend Flash. And against champions against Senna, Aphelios, Swain, Ghost is very good because you can sidestep their abilities and you can kite them down very well. In this game, against Vi for example, therefore Flash is better because her ult will always kill you or hit you even if you have Ghost. In this game... I'll be taking flash because I want the majority of you guys to take flash. Now let's talk about the runes. That is very important and this is overall knowledge that will apply throughout all the elo tiers. So, level tempo is the best. Always. Always take level tempo. I recommend it. This rune page is always what I recommend you to do. To take. There are only three options you have. That is Coupe de Gras last stand. I personally would recommend to always take Coupe de Gras. It's simply better than Last Stand. Last Stand does sometimes more damage statistically, but Coupe de Gras helps you to execute better, and with the execution, you get your resets. And here, Relentless or Treasure, keep in mind, Coupe de Gras, Last Stand, optional. Treasure Hunter, Relentless, also optional. You can take it both. I personally take Relentless Hunter when I want extra movement speed, for example here, so I can sideline, I can catch a Swain, I can catch Galio, I can catch Set on sideline very well. You should take Treasure Hunter against champs like Ramos, against champions like Sejuani, where they're just not that mobile because you're gonna fight anyways and you just need stats to kill them. And the last thing, that is health or armor. I only take armor or magic resist when I play against a team comp where I really need the survivability of armor or if the enemy is a heavy AP, I'm gonna take the AP as well. That being said. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> And the health, health rune outscales the armor rune at level 4 already. So if there's not going to be an early fight, early skirmish, early cheese, early invade, then health rune is usually better to take, especially when they have a lot of mixed damage. Alright, let's get it started. So as you can see, it's bronze, silver, exactly the elo tier, the lowest elo tier this entire series, uh, series will be. Keep in mind, you can skip through. We have it down below. You can just see which elo fits for you so you can check out the entire elos um everything i explain will be educational not only for the elo tier i'm playing in but for all elos even for grandmaster challenger ye players the bronze silver games will be very useful so if you're a gold player if you want to improve this is the best free coaching i have ever offered and probably there will always al always be so just recommend to check out the games so, let's get it started! To 
if you get if you invade or your team wants to invade that happens a lot in lower elo tiers all you do is follow invades usually are stupid doesn't make that much sense is extremely cheesy look why we invade here the enemies could take out on top side here they could take our bots side here they could take everything but we are sacrificing that that the enemies could be taking everything here because there's very often chances that we get catches and as well if we don't invade while our team invades and the enemies trap the invade will be in a terrible position as you can see the enemies could all be here we could just die for no reason so that's why i would recommend you guys to follow all right they, you see they did invade as well that's exactly why i did follow i'm just gonna see if something happens if not i want to start wrap up without leash i'm gonna type no no leash you see it gets a lot of it gets very weird here in this elo range midland died as well here but this is absolutely normal this I'm pretty sure for most people who are bronze and silver, this is absolutely normal. What we need to do is our job is to find um, a good constant in, in the games. That means we need to be very consistent and we need to be the one that is basically getting rid of the inconsistency of your entire team. We are the working tool that gets you rid of all of those by playing consistently and as you can see even though the game gets very weird we will still be able to be as i said very consistent and apply our good habits now throughout the entire video my goal is to just show you guys how i personally use my um fundamentals how i use my how i use my fundamentals in an actual actual live game okay can we kill dive top lane already doesn't seem like it we can't gank mid lane i don't see gank option so all i do is clearing that is absolutely fine i can take my q now because i don't think vi will cheese me early the small wolves will die on my next double strike so that's absolutely beautiful i'm just gonna kite this everything is correctly everything is fine q with the e and double strike we look top lane if he pushes it slow we can consider diving it we don't need to dive it set set with w and ignite is very dangerous so we probably are just gonna no avoid it unless there is traits with him best would be if there is traits as much as possible with the set if he doesn't do so that is fine nonetheless maybe we find a mid gank now keep in mind if we don't find ganks we are just not gonna gank that is absolutely fine we will be out scaling slowly and surely and we will be in a wonderful position you do not need to force as a jungler keep that in mind not only on Yi, but on every single jungler. You do not need to force. You can just play slow and make sure you're not dying. Because if you die, then the enemies can snowball. I'm gonna put a ward and just look out for a mid lane gank. Most likely this is not gonna work. Let's just see. Very well done. I'm gonna wait with my E a little bit. Hey, okay, looks like we're getting the kill here. Beautiful. The reason why I wait with my E is to stack some lethal tempo stacks. We see Vi top lane with 16 CS. That means we can even, first of all, cut her off here. I help Zundra to push this now. Galia has no DP. She should have pushed it a little bit earlier with me. Doesn't do it. Nonetheless, we are in a very fine position. And now I can take Bot Scuttle. Why? Because I know for a fact that Bot Scuttle is up since we saw Vi top lane. On the same time, danger pinging top lane and also typing in chat Vi top care very very easy there's a high chance there is dice here i'm gonna danger ping it again and now the interesting point comes i see a lot of people complaining i'm gonna buy sweeper here they're complaining because their stereos dies you see he did die i knew in the past i knew already that the darius is about to die whether it's from set or from the vi but i don't mind it i'm not even flaming him i don't care i do what is best i try my absolute best to win the game now what i can do is communication there's a high chance that darius doesn't even know that vi is topside i mean keep in mind it's a lower elo bracket and the darius could be like i don't know where vi is and get surprised by vi so our job is to communicate by pings by chat by body language if necessary that are the three types of communication that's the fundamental communication in general we try to communicate as good as possible where Vi is and with that communication we did our job if there is dice that is fine Vi is on dragon we saw her using Q towards dragon I'm just gonna walk up very slowly 
And I'm gonna start attacking her. If she tries to disengage, I'm gonna flash towards her. Because Syndra is coming as well. I want to engage on Galio. I'm gonna body block his E. If possible. There's a high chance I'm not gonna end up killing him. Okay, very well done from Pike. Now we can consider doing Dragon. What then has Pryo? So I'd rather gank bot lane instead of doing Dragon. It's a little bit risky. If I could also instantly gank bot lane. They do see us on the ward. We're still gonna go. Let's see how Pike is about to play this. Gonna focus Swain first. Not gonna use my Q yet. I'm gonna want to use my Q on the Aphelios. Hopefully my team helps me there enough. And now we're just gonna reset. Keep in mind, I didn't do the dragon yet. It is completely fine. You don't need to do the dragon instantly. It was risky. Enemies could have annoyed us. Look what I'm buying here. I don't need to buy control because my control is still here. And you only want to have one control on the map. I'm gonna go Grump Wolves, Red Buff into Scuttle. The reason why I Berser buy, buy Berserkers and I get a lot of questions. Should I, be, should I be buying Berserkers at first back? I get a lot of these questions. No, you should not. You should only be buying attack speed after you already have attack damage. Attack speed alone is useless because you have no damage. But if you already bought raw damage, I call it raw damage, then all you need is a tech speed to use that raw damage as often as possible. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Very simply explained, I should have pinged Vi's top lane. Very simply explained for you guys again. Buy raw damage first, and the moment you bought raw damage, then you can buy a tech speed. So when you buy Berserker's Greaves, you always want to have at least a Longsword, Dorn's Blade, or Pickaxe. Alright, we're gonna consider bot lane gank. Do you guys see how simple I'm playing? I'm literally just taking my cams, seeing a bot lane play, going for the bot lane play, seeing another play, going for the other play. You see, I'm very extremely simple. I have three zero deaths. I'm 20 years up. I'm one level ahead. Now I'm going towards Scuttle into Dragon. I'm communicating that I want to start Dragon. Zere resets. So what do I do? I rethink my decision. She doesn't come. And think if I can go for dragon. I don't think I can because enemy jungle and enemy bot lane could come. I'm considering a mid lane gank now. Okay. Not that well played by my team, but that is absolutely fine. I'm not gonna start the dr dr dragon. I'm just gonna take my camps here. Probably gonna play for Herald. Dragon is just way too risky still. Never want to risk dying. Keep in mind, if you're never dying, the chance the enemy snowball is zero. Because they cannot snowball if you are not dead. Ever, you know? Like, have you ever... You don't... You barely lose games where you're 10-0. You lose games where you're 10-4. But you barely lose games where you're 10-0. But if with consistent gameplay, with applying the fundamentals, you will not die. Here I can take this turret. Why? Because I do see Darius. I do see the enemy bot in here. And I'm not that scared. I will be getting top prior. I saw on the minimap that my minions are way stronger. I do have mid lane prior. So as you can see, even if the Vi wants to contest this, there's absolutely no room for her to contest this. So you guys can see how easy it gets. I don't think I'm gonna kill them. So I'm instantly gonna run to my blue buff because I would waste my time. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to dive the full HP set with full HP and uh, like bought full HP and also has old and ignite and flash and W. <laughs> Plus Galio ult. As you can see, the, the it, it's terrible to dive it. And I don't need to do this. I'm just gonna take my camps and I'm already extremely ahead. Look, I'm more than double the CS. Oh no, I have exactly the double. Double the CS from Vi. And I'm three levels ahead. And it's not hard. Everything I did was reasonable. And that is the fundamentals I apply. That's also why I recommend you guys to check out my course. This is, you learn a lot, even if you're not a Yi player. Now, I'm gonna buy a longsword. Blade from Kung needs 700 more gold to, in, for me to buy it. The reason why I buy a longsword, and I'm not scared to have a reset where I can't buy Blade from King, because in the next two to five minutes, I can assume that I will get good outcomes. Why? Because I have flash, I have ult, dragon is still up, and enemy bot lane is pushing. But there's a high chance I get something, and with that I would have enough damage to... No, but I see Vi mid lane, so I will instantly engage bot lane. Why? Because I see only Svein. I only see Svein and Aphelios. 
So the chance there's someone else as well is zero. And if you play it correctly mechanically, how high is the chance you die? Zero. How high is the chance I die now? Zero. Galio is here. Set his top lane. Only Vi could be here, but I would be prepared. I'm taking the plant, then I'm gonna go for Scuttle. And now, guys, how high is the chance that I take the dragon? 100%. As you can see, it gets extremely easy. And we are so far ahead that the enemies can do nothing anymore but FFing. And I'm pretty confident that you can make that work. Now, we have enough gold for our Blade from King. Instantly reset. I'm gonna ignore this play. I really dislike that and I don't want it to happen. I could be fighting that. But I dislike this play at all. The reason why is I want to use the fundamental playing with my spikes. When I have a power spike, my enemies don't. And when enemies have a power spike, I don't necessarily have to be. What I mean is, whenever people and champions power spike, varies from the time, from the gold, from everything. From champion itself. So now as you can see, Vi doesn't have a full item yet. She's extremely far behind. And I have Blade from King finished. So I have a massive power spike. And now with that power spike, that's why I reset, I can end up killing her. It's a very easy thing. I'm three levels ahead. I'm just gonna walk up on her. Oh, I missed my smite. I'm just gonna engage on her. I missed... I cancelled my auto attack twice. And it's still extremely easy to kill. But as you can see, I missed my smite. I cancelled my auto attack twice. And it's still extremely easy to get these kills. I don't know where Set is. So it's gonna cure the ability that is a problem. The entire game gets very, very easy. Now, another thing I would recommend you to do mechanically for Master Yi... This is just a mechanic advice. I'm gonna let him share here. Now I don't have ult, so I'm not gonna die further. I don't need to take the tower yet. Zeri can take it. We have still one and a half more minutes until platings despawn. We will for sure get first blood tower. There's no reason to rush that. Now that's the mechanic tip is whenever you are in a fight. Let's say a 5v5. There are so many abilities and things happening that a lot of people get confused. They're like, I don't really know exactly what to do. What I need to focus on, how can I dodge, and which ability even, you know? But the tip I'm giving you is you only focus on core abilities. What is the real problem? I want to buy Rage uh, Knife here. I didn't want to buy Double Longsword. I want you... Like, keep in mind, Dustblade is pretty good right now, but I always want you to um, buy Rage Blade, especially in lower elos. In a month, Dust, like, soon Dustblade will get removed anyways. And Rage Bed is extremely nice to have nonetheless. And even on the, when the new season comes out, then the builds will be very similar to what I'm buying right now. So everything I explain now, you can easily apply on the new seasons as well. It's gonna kill the set here. So in team fights, you're just gonna focus on core abilities. That could be Swain E. I'm just gonna flash this one here. It's incredible how much damage he deals nonetheless. He's almost able to kill me. Now, he cannot stun me because there were no minions or anything. Could have probably played that a little bit more respectfully. But my point was, what I'm trying to get to all the time now, is you play for the core abilities. Vi-Q is a core ability. Galio stun. Swain E. And then you focus your Q only on these. You don't care if Galio does all attacks on you. I don't care if Aphidus does all attacks or ults or damage on me. But I care about his stuns. I care about Swain's stun. I care about Vi stun. And that is where I react to and focus to dodge with my Q. So you can kind of see it like you get into tunnel vision in order to dodge all the necessary abilities. Alright, I will be pushing this now. Then I will be getting the tower. Keep in mind, another um, fundamental is closing out games. You need to close out games. That is very, very important. Um, because if you just start fighting, fighting and taking camps, you will not actively end the game. You see, you have only one tower minute 15. I'm gonna focus on, uh, Vi here as well. I'm gonna focus Vi here first. I will end up dying. I, I did mistake it here. I should have played that a little bit better. I, again, underestimated set. I should not have done that. Anyways, what I'm trying to get to is you need to break the towers. You need to break not only T1s, you need to break T2s. That is necessary. And with look at where Aphelios stands. Imagine T2 and T1 were both gone. 
He would have no right to stand here and would get easily chased by the Zundra. He dies now nonetheless because he was overextending nonetheless. But my point is when these towers were gone, he couldn't even stand here. He would need to stand very far behind. And with that, we are able to take enemy jungle better. We're able to ward better. We're able to pressure more. And with the pressure, we get the enemy jungle. We get our jungle. We get herald. We get dragons. We get other towers. We get, most importantly, to sum it up all, as I said it, pressure. And with that pressure, we're able to close out the game and end up winning the game. I'm gonna start doing the Herald now. Alright, that looks beautiful. We don't even need to take the Dragon. We can take the Dragon. But as I said, what is necessary is getting T2s. That is the only thing that is necessary. So I'm just gonna go mid lane now. Okay. Darius is dead. I probably don't... I don't want to fight further. It's a little bit risky. I'm just gonna go top lane now and break top lane T2. As I said, the Dragon doesn't matter. The soul is not our win condition because I want to end the game before minute 25 anyways. Dragon has 5 minutes respawn timing. So if the enemies would get all dragons and all dragons on spawn, which is almost impossible, of course, it would still take 20 more minutes until they get the soul. And in 20 minutes, the game should be over a million times already. I'm gonna engage on Vi here. I didn't even need to use my ult. But I do have my ult now up for Swain, which is beautiful. Now only look at his E. I just do all attacks until I see his E, and that is exactly what I dodge. Now we see five people on the map. So we see four people dead, and we see set mid lane. So I can just push further. Keep in mind, that is how we end up winning the game. The dragon doesn't matter. We win the game by closing out the game. I'm gonna try to engage on the feelers here. That is no stun. I need to engage on Vi most likely. I will probably die, but that's fine. My push again was too deep. Now Seth killed me already, or was annoying already, three times in a row. I should have respected him way more, and that would be fine. My team is extremely fat, but that is all due to them playing well and also us having a good jungle pressure. Now I'm gonna go Kraken, and also Recurve Bow. I did an insane amount of damage, and now guess in your head again, what do you think? How are we gonna win the game? We're gonna take red buff, take dragon real quick. We don't need dragon, dragon is not the win condition, but dragon to take now, since it's on the path to bot lane, only takes around 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and these 20 seconds we are, that's fine to waste basically. And then we're gonna take bot T2, and with that, all the pressure we have on mid lane and top lane, we're gonna break bot T3 as well. We don't need to get Nexus Towers right now. As you can see, that's too deep. There's no reason to go that deep. We're just gonna take Dragon real quick, as I said, because it's on the way anyways, and as you can see, I cleared extremely fast, especially with my items. I one-shot this Dragon almost. And now all I do is push bot lane. I don't want to fight right now, because I'm alone and my team needs to reset. I'm just gonna take blue buff and grump. You can limit test it a little bit because I am extremely strong and I do one shot the enemies. For example, here as you can see, I'm limit testing a little bit. I shouldn't, I probably should, like mechan macro wise speaking, what I should be doing is I should have just wait for my team to come. If they all come and then I fight, I will win it. But because I know my mechanics so well, I'm so, I'm so confident that I will be winning the fight but keep in mind the chance i died here was given if the enemies played that extremely well and i made just one mistake i would already be in a rough position so as i said since we are so far ahead that is not needed at all all right i'm pushing it now absolutely beautiful we don't care about the feeders mid end we could not care less all i want to do is end the game and to end the game i need to get the inhibitors and pressure that's all i need to do and as you can see, the entire game gets extremely easy. We're gonna kill the Swain here. I didn't need to flash, but I was scared that uh, Vi is instantly ulting me. I'm gonna Q the set here. Nice. Let's kill the minions. You see, we try to be as efficient as possible. Clear one camp up, one minion or one thing after the other, let's call it. Going Galio, trying to kite away. Holding distance to Aphelios. And now just focusing Nexus. Hiding away from Aphelios. And GG. And this is how we're gonna win the game. 
This was now the first game of the series in bronze, silver, elo. Of course, games will be more challenging, but the main goal is that you learn a lot from this. I will try my absolute best, not only on my course, my coachings, and my streams. I will try on my YouTube as well, on everywhere, for you guys, my absolute best to give you all my knowledge as good as possible. Let's do it, guys. Let's go into the next game. Scenario salute. Okay. New fresh account. Yes, we're gonna do unranked to master, full educational. So I'm gonna permanently explain everything I do. Every single step I do, I will be explaining. If you're the teacher of Wuju, do you play Masi and Wukong? <laughs> no, I'm from the history historical past. Where Wukong wasn't even be able to wield his sword. Okay. I'm gonna name this Wuju here. So, we're gonna start from everyone. From zero. You guys can can ask me any questions you guys wish to ask me. This is gonna be full educational. So I'm not gonna be full triad, I'm gonna do full educational. It's here so you guys can learn. Hello, Shadow of Darkness! Blitting! Now you're here! Can I ask a question? No. You already have uh, you already had permission for one question and now you already asked. Because even that was a question. Ostalt's Clint scenario salute! Hope you're doing well, excited for the new climb. I'm also excited for the new climb, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even have a skin. I'm playing on classic. I'm too broke for this. I'm too broke for this. Ask one how to auto attack. No problem, Tomek. That's what I'm here for, helping you out on all these questions as well. You press either right click or if you have it on your settings, you have attack move to click. Both options will both lead to a successful encounter of doing an auto attack. Okay, in the future, we want to ban Belworth. Keep in mind, whatever champion you guys want to ban doesn't really matter. You should be banning the champion you are scared of in your individual elo, which not only is strong against your particular champion, but also is being picked more often. So even though some would argue that Ramos is more of a problem, I rather ban Belworth because Belworth is being picked more often, as you can see here. And in this game, okay, wait, 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 wait. In this game, we can already take Ghost for various reasons. Reason number one: the enemies have a lot of abilities. I can generally sidestep. I can kite a lot, and with my movement speed, I can rotate around the enemies to kill them what ranked is this this is absolutely fresh we're playing on a fresh account so i'm already playing in gold platinum this is already gold platinum this is fresh we're gonna play on every single elo until we are master tier the journey is unranked to master tier so when i play with mass people then we're about to finish <laughs> Hello, Kupazi! Welcome! I banned Lee because I hate his kick. Yes! Totally uh, totally acceptable. That's exactly what I said. You should be banning the champion you dislike the most in your individual elo. If it is Jinx, I personally think it's a waste of a ban. But if Jinx is really a problem for you, I would tell you, coaching tip, to ban Jinx. That's absolutely fine. So, which champion you ban is very individual. Okay, let's get it started. We have the first game here. Mm -mm. I'm playing against Belworth. Against Belworth, you always want to make sure... Now, this is Platinum Elo. So, this Platinum Gold. This is Platinum... Oh, So, this is Gold Elo. Gold around Platinum. And... Okay. So, what my goal is, I want to avoid 
her from taking my chickens. Why? Because this Bellwerf is a champion that has it very easily encountering your chickens. You see, she may be wanting to engage on me here. All right, I'm going to reset here and get my sweep. I have a control award here. So I will always see if Bellwerf walks through here to go for my chickens. That's the only thing I take care of. I'm also making sure maybe I can help here a little bit. We lose flash already. Looks very weird. Let's get a little bit more quiet. Okay, as you can see, that's already very weird. Nice, we got first blood, wonderful. Usually, I don't want you to participate in these kind of situations. What I want you to do is become extremely consistent. How do you become consistent? Simply following all the fundamentals I permanently explain. No leash, I'm gonna type it as well. On Master Yi, very important tip on Master Yi. No matter which elo you play in, you do not want to start with a leash if you start red buff. I will show you right here. You will get Q back up twice before finishing the red buff. As you can see here, I will have my Q back up. And I will be evenly fast, even if I got a leash. The only time you ever want to get a leash is when you start blue buff. And now, the big tip from me, guys. You should start red buff in 98. I would, you, can, I, you can also see it as 100% of the games. You should be starting red buff if you are below master tier. I hope you understood that, guys. If you are below Master Tier, I want you to start Red Buff. I'm gonna explain it very shortly why that is so. Yeah, make sure the chicken bug isn't that annoying. Because you want your chickens and your Crux to respawn. Instead of your Grump and your Wolves to respawn. That is a very important tip. Because chickens and Crux do give you more XP. Yeah, we're just gonna kite this here. Absolutely fine. Double strike. We have my E back up. We're also going to use the F keys always to check if my team is doing all right. Okay. Take a Grump after Wolves. It's better than Red Buff because then your Grump will respawn faster. You also want Grump and Wolves to respawn at around the same time. Saving Smite for Blue Buff is also smarter. Generally speaking, you should be smiting the Blue Buff. I'm going to kite it here. Hoplan died, that's absolutely fine, there's nothing we can do about it so far. Maybe we can do something bot then, let's just see how that goes. I'm gonna smite this, insta use W. I'm gonna consider a bot lane play because the enemies are so pushed in. They're playing pretty aggressive, I'm just gonna walk forward. Now I'm gonna use my ghost already. I'm gonna just attack Rakan once, okay? I wanted to attack Rakan once so he doesn't have the disengage potential. I might be able to get his flash as well. Even if I don't can ever even if I cannot kill him. If Jinx followed, there's a high chance we get his flash. I could have played it probably a bit better. I attack moved in this bush to go towards Rakan and I would be fine. Now in lower elos, as I would say below master, the only thing that is important is that you're never dying. We see echoes in out of vision. So I need to be careful that Bellwave doesn't cheese on me. I'm not gonna use my E and my Q yet. Now I'm sure that I can get it without dying. And I'm instantly resetting. Always feel free to ask me questions, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna buy my items here. These are the best back here. Absolutely wonderful. Now going to my crux. Why do you E and Q now instead of wasting till Q ends? I don't understand the question. Can you ask that more precise, please? On which situation? What do you mean? Checking top lane. Okay, she did invade me. That's absolutely fine. I don't even lose much from that. It's gonna walk towards her. Probably not gonna kill her. Okay, plays very aggressively. That's, everything is fine. My chickens will spawn. Now she did kill my count, my uh, my crux. I also see that she has 32 CS. So I can instantly tell that she did a full clear. And now her crux and her chickens are up. So I have two options. I can take... She actually instantly goes to her chickens instead of resetting. She will reset later. That gives us another option. So we can do take dragon here. That's very nice. So as you can see, she did invade my crux. But actually didn't do much. Because now my crux will respawn a higher level. My chickens will also respawn. I didn't get a reset off yet. I'm just gonna take this here. Considering a bot lane gank. Probably doesn't need me. I'm just gonna start dragon right now. My outlet got cancelled. 
because my passive ran out. That sometimes happens for Master Yi, even though I didn't cancel the auto attack. My bot then doesn't need me, and now I can literally take Dragon because Bellworth didn't do the reset. It's very simple, Mako. We know what you did, we know what you're about to do. Chickens into Crux, and then she resets. There's no way she can contest this. I'm in a very fine position right after this. I'm gonna you know, take my bot side camps, I can reset, I can consider a gank. Most likely it's the best to just take your camps because the, everybody knows where we are. And now we know Bellworth will play around topside. Even though she invaded me, it doesn't really matter. We're in a very fine situation. But Elo is this. This is gold platin Elo. We are playing up until master tier. I will show you what to do on every single Elo. Okay, now we're gonna go towards wolves. Top lane doesn't look too optimal yet as well. I want to take bot scuttle after this. As you can see, I'm not playing for too many kills when I play in, I would say, lower Elo for me, you know? When I play in gold, platinum, even in diamond, in master tier, I just don't play for that many kills early. As you can see, nothing happened really. It's 2-2, we got the first dragon, but I am level 6, I got my camps off, I am ahead in the jungle, I got the first dragon, I'm in a wonderful position, I did get one kill off, so that's all I can do and need. I am 100% consistently climbing with that, and I will also have a high win rate with that. And you can do the same if you do exactly what I will show you. I could buy another control word now, because the enemies did see my control word here. It's also fine not doing that. Whatever you floats your bolts, guys. Both is pretty much fine. <coughs> Alright, guys, let's do it. You see Bellwrap is here? Because my Crux walked. I'm just gonna walk up towards the wrap buff. It's already done, it's already finished. Why? Because I saw on the minimap that it's already finished. She's just here. So she tries to counter Johnny me a lot. And you can see clearly, she Bellwrap does play it very well. She fucks me up hard. But I'm not really getting fucked. Because I know exactly what I have to do. Consider a top lane, mid lane gank, I consider a top lane gank. I'm in a very decent position. They could all be warded, so I need to be careful. Echo still has old, even though it doesn't show it, just didn't skill yet. I can do um her pretty early this is most likely is a walk, most likely walk through a ward here i just want to get her shroud yeah nice that's all i wanted that's all i wanted nice i want to play aggressive here let's see enemy bot lane i cannot do that much you know just gonna walk through in her jungle now and see if what is up okay everything is down baby does a very great job you can consider engaging on the echo here baby is also here I need to old already I will get her E. Very well done from the bell. She, she did take my camps, walked all the way around the core camps, and then walked all the way back to the bush. There was even a small chance that I win this. Ah, I mean a high chance that I win this. There was a high chance that I win this fight as well. Um, if I had one more auto deck off and my Q and auto would have killed the bell, then I could kite the uh, echo. Um, the problem is that she's now inherited. I cannot deny that. But it's absolutely fine, it's absolutely fine. I made one mistake, but there's not much I can do about it. Enemies have hardcore top prior, they have hardcore mid lane prior, they have hardcore bot lane prior. There's nothing I can do about it, I just need to accept that I'm a little bit behind. I'm gonna take my camps now, everything is correct, everything is fine, I'm gonna smite the blue buff. Considering a bot lane play as well, that would be great. And die from the burn. Oh, what the actual fuck? Okay, I'm gonna kill this one here. Kinda crazy it didn't die from the burn. But it's absolutely fine. Everything is fine. We're just gonna smite it again. Don't really lose that much. We see Bellwrap top lane. Does he have wrap buff? Doesn't have wrap buff. And now we got a mid lane kill. Very nicely done. Doesn't have wrap buff, so I can even consider invading her right now. Nice! Well played, Mortar. Absolutely insane. Well done from them. <clears throat> okay, Bellwrap well, is dead for seven more seconds. Echo was also dead. We see Rakan bot lane. So I can go for enemy chickens right now. That should be very free. Yeah. Wrap up is also up. He took Kyle towards the bush. It could have been smarter to just do wrap up before and then skip chickens completely. I do have one smite up, so I'm pretty confident that I can take this. 
But if you are scared, you can also do it that way. She will go to her wrapper first and realize it's also gone. Then check her chickens. I don't think she will instantly check her um, crux. And as you can see, there's a lot of potential. She tries to disengage, doesn't notice I'm here. She will flash over the wall, instantly go to crux. Did use a W as well. We can try to play something with that. I'm just gonna wait for my bot end to push the wave. Very simple. Maybe we can go for something that these burn as well. She has no E. I'm gonna Q instantly. Get the double reset. Tank the tower aggro a little bit further. For Jinx. And I'm gonna instantly go to Dragon. And as you can see, Balwef fucked me hardcore early. She invaded me at the right times. Two times. And she cheesed me afterwards. On the bush lay uh, here. And I didn't have top prior. And I didn't have mid prior. And I still am in an absolute wonderful position. And I made a mistake. Now, as you can see, how much potential we have if we just know how to play correctly. <laughs> Hello, Master Set. Saure Pommes. Greetings. I'm doing amazing. Thank you for asking. I'm gonna buy Berserkers here. You can buy a lot of Longshot if you're very confident. Like, what our goal is to get the Blade Fruit King ASAP now. So, the question is just, will we stay on the map until we have enough gold for Blade of Rune King? That is the main question we need to ask ourselves now. Wouldn't it be better to invade her Crux Raptors after you died? You mean right after I died here, instantly invade her Crux and Raptors? No, that wouldn't be better, because there's a very high chance that uh, Belveth has a different pathing. And if I end up walking all the way to Crux, and then Belveth is countering that, I'm way too fucked. Okay, and we're gonna walk up here, and see how I need to play it. She has no W, I'm just gonna attack her. Don't use my E yet, I'm gonna use my E, reset, auto attack, and Q in that. Walking towards Akali, most likely he doesn't have any shroud. I'm just gonna walk up. I'm not gonna Q yet, I want Mordecai to take the tower aggro. I'm just gonna Q that right here, auto attack, reset. Mordecai is taking the tower aggro. I'm gonna cue the minions. Maybe dance a little bit. You don't need to dance. You don't need to disrespect. Don't disrespect your enemies. I want you to respect your enemies. And now, as I told you guys, we want to stay on the map until I have Blade of Throne King. Now, I'm not gonna invade her. Why am I not invading her? We see. TPs. Um, Balwef is pretty fast with her Q. I am Lahore, have HP. I don't have Ghost. I don't have Smite. We don't even know 100% if her cam's up. So, invading her is fine. It's not bad. But you don't need to invade her right now. To win the game. You are in a wonderful position taking your camps as well. It ends up going... Because there's a high chance our top side camps are all down. And I just completely waste my time. Okay, we didn't get first blood tower yet. So we do want to defend this herald. And make sure this tower is getting defended. Maybe she can do something about this herald. Wasn't well played by the Nafari here. I'm just gonna take herald. Always keep in mind that herald gives you an insane amount of gold and XP as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, now I'm gonna take my wolves and my grump, and I'm in a in very nice position. Alois just said you you're the one to learn jungle from, so I'm here to watch and learn. Very nice to hear that. Right now I'm also doing as Alois does, unranked to master, full educational. Hope you're gonna enjoy that. The thing about this, Jay Z, you can ask me as many questions as you want. I will try my best to help you. You can use my streams as a free coaching. I've got rank 1 US and I have a lot of knowledge for all the years and I'm here to help you. I'm gonna just gonna engage towards this one here. Okay, I'm not gonna ult yet. We don't know if Rakan did use his ult. We're just gonna push this very slowly. I'm gonna walk towards chickens. Everything is fine. Buredi, thanks a lot for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream. I do hope you had a wonderful stream and you're enjoying my educational content. Don't engage, guys! Don't engage! I know you guys were looking out for my old. <laughs> no, you don't. We're gonna play consistent. I have played from King. Why should I engage? Just reset. Look. 313. We are extremely ahead. We are in a wonderful position. There's no reason to play that aggressive and try to go for a fight. Blade of the Rune King. Control ward. Taking your crocs again. Chickens again. Being on the map. And then the fundamental of playing slowly, consistent, knowing when to farm, when to gank. Use it, boom, you can climb. And Jesse, by the way, if you don't know, I also have a jungle course, as well as a Lois as a top lane course. <clears throat> and we have Black Friday, so I have the 20% discount, but if you didn't see that yet. Alright. I'm just gonna go to... Okay, we see Belbeth here. Echo is dead. I'm not that scared. I don't know where Rakan is. Now I see him bot lane. GG. Enemies have left. Wonderful. Already gold, Platinilo. Victory. Enemies have left already. 
Absolutely doable. You can do the same. Ask me questions. What, what was hard in this game? Where do you struggle in your games? Hello, Belmok. No, I'm not buying Dorans right now. I think it's extremely important to get Blade of King ASAP. Exactly, Buret E. Everything is around consistency. Hi, Zinarius. I'm new here. Alois said you were really good to learn from. Just wondering, have you, would you ever do a Briot guide? Yes, I would. I'm even, like, Nova, if you're from Alois, you probably already know that he does unranked to master series, right? I'm doing the same. Right now, I'm doing it with Master Yi. You can ask me questions on other champions. You can ask me questions on Yi. You can ask me questions about Briar. I have a lot of knowledge, experience, and wisdom, I hope so. And I'm considering to do uh, unranked to master series with Briar as well. So all you have to do is leave a follow, explanation mark, Discord, join my Discord, and I can gladly help. Is a coaching on stream possible? It is possible, but right now I don't like it that much. What you can do is you can DM me and we can discuss it, but I don't like it that much right now. Love the enemy, G. Love the comment. I appreciate it. We've been in Poland. I have been in Poland. Yes. In Krakow, it's called. Was up with my girlfriend. That was absolutely beautiful. Would highly recommend. And now I, I think I... I think the music is fine now again. Don't have the perfect mix for it yet. Is it? I'm not sure. A Koopa Z, is it too loud again? Where? I'm gonna type it. I think I think it's called like this. Or Krakow. Uh, Krakow. Oh, Krakow. Ah, no, it's German. It's Krakow. I don't see. Ah, Coco. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was very beautiful. Ah, okay. As excited for season 14. Yes, I am. And by the way, guys, if you want to learn, I also highly recommend you check out Alois. Alois is a wonderful guy. Oh, guys, do me a favor. Do me a favor because he did the same now. Go to his stream and say, Hello, Alois. I'm from Zenaria's stream. I heard you are a great top laner. Do it for me right now. Let's go. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Okay. In this particular game, we're playing against Ash, Zundra, Alistar. In this game, I don't want to have Flash. Ah, uh, sorry. In this game, I don't want to have Ghost. Because Ghost is useless against Alistar. Imagine I run faster towards him, but he still knocks me back. Sundra still knocks me back. Ash Old will still hit me. It's not that easy to sidestep it with Ghost. So, I am having Go Flash here to flash over Alistar W. To flash over Sundra E. To flash over Ash Old. In this game, Flash is clearly better. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Breslau, most beautiful Polish city. Yeah, I can consider visiting that in the future as well. You know what I want to what I want to visit? Scotland. I um I'm watching a series right now and Scotland looks awesome. Like, I think there are so many places that are so beautiful. Uh, <laughs> from Alois' stream, he said you're the goat. No! It's a, it's a bag and forth. Uh, what do I even answer to this? Okay, tell him he's a little piggy. Then then he will laugh. Make it, we'll make him laugh of this. Tell him he's a little piggy. Go back to Alois' stream, guys. Don't be here. Alois has great content. Don't be here. Go back to his stream. Tell him he's a little piggy. And he will like it. It's banter, by the way. It's not flame from Bammy. Okay. Um, okay, let's let's see how we play this. Wait, wait, where's my music even? My mix is already fetched. Okay. We have first blood top lane. Absolutely beautiful. Everything is covered. Okay, so Johnny is coming. I do want to reset if possible. Okay, she walks away. I'm going to reset here. We see Ash is coming. Just need to be careful again that he doesn't steal my chickens again. Okay, I'll reset here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Darius playing pinging very aggressively. I like it. All chatting. Beautiful. We all love it. Go play safe now. <laughs> I love it. Why did you decide to just stay mid and hit turret here? It was kind of weird in my... Oh, the game already started. Fuck. I have no idea what exactly you mean by that. So, this is a great example, by the way. Now we start the chickens. Usually I told you always to start red buff. Again, if you're below master tier, always start red buff. But now, for those who are still stubborn and gonna be like, Yeah, but I do not want to start red buff scenarios. You can also start chickens. That is fine. Why? As you can see here, I start clear the chickens pretty quickly. And now, not our red buff respawns at first. Our chickens respawns at first. Which is exactly what we want to have on that clear. If you do that clear, it's only really optimal if you um, if you clear your chickens before you reset. So I will show you how that will look like. I will show you how that will look like. It's exactly the same as if you start red buff. The only difference is that you start the chickens and your chickens will respawn faster. And after you did crack uh, scuttle, you don't reset, but instantly go to your chickens and your cracks again. But it doesn't really matter. You can take Q again. If the enemies had harder prior, for example, if they had mid prior as well, I would be taking uh, W. Because then I am in respect of Shivana invading me, especially when I played against the Graves now, against the Kindred guys, I would be taking um, W. My Q does clear faster, so I want to take Q, but as I said, if I need to respect them, I will take W. If you see this mid lane picture here, we already know Shivana's not gonna invade. It's way too dangerous for her as well. Last game with Sundra on your team before they AFF. The reason why I pushed this tower is because I knew Kha'Zix cannot stay under the tower. And if he's forced to reset, he will lose the entire wave. If he loses the wave, we win the game. If he doesn't reset, we will kill him. So either way, he is completely fucked. And that's why I sacrifice taking taxing the XP. Okay, I'm just gonna walk towards bot side. We see Shivana. They don't see me yet. I can flash Q and Allista technically. Okay, I'm not gonna flash yet. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna uh, flash. I'm just gonna play it like this. Auto attack W, auto attack, auto attack again. I'm not kill her. Maybe with my team we can actually end up killing her. I'm gonna walk around. I don't f now, very important tip don't walk around and try to kill her. Just take scuttle, maybe double scuttle. Chickens are about to spawn again. Be efficient. Of course, there's a chance we can kill her. Ash could be here. Ash slow when I don't have flash is actually almost a kill for her very quickly. Instantly go top scuttle. We're not wasting time. Do we need to push up mid lane? Yes or no, chat? Yes or no? No, we don't. Zundra has TP. If we push this, we're just gonna deny Katarina her CS. Absolutely terrible to push this. Why do you even consider this in any situation ever? Yeah. Now we're gonna go take to go to chickens. Amazing. And now we take the chickens again, otherwise they wouldn't be up yet. They would be spawning very soon, but they wouldn't be up right now. We can take chickens into Crux, then reset. Look at my gold, I have such an insane reset. And look at how good I am in this in, in, uh, entire picture here. The enemy is already emerald, like platinum emerald, and you see how easy it actually gets. Yep, I want to have vision here if possible. Gonna take Crux, then see maybe we play for dragon. Most likely not gonna be the case. Okay, beautiful. Use my Q here one more time. I'll die. Reset. Look top lane. Nothing happens. Can't gank. Can't get mid lane. Need to reset. I have way too much gold in my pocket. If I can buy a pickaxe, nice. Looks like this is the best pack. You do not need to have boots first. Having these items also wonderful. And now what is my next goal, guys? What is my next goal? Help me out in the comments, in the chat. Help me out, guys. <sighs> El Dragon? Yeah, it's not hard, no? Because you have Pryo. No, the, the reason why I want to go for Dragon, and you guys need to see it, I didn't buy Boots. Boots is good for movement speed slash ganking. Damage is good for Dragon, right? You can do plus one plus one. Eight times two. Minus one, that's three quick mess, right? 
No, that's not even true. Okay, listen. Let's see what the Johnny does. Does want to get the dragon. Has 40 CS. I have 48 CS. Look at how I'm shilling. I can dance here. I can even start the dragon. Let's see what she does. She sees I start the dragon. Now I'm walking around. Okay. Oh, this coming as well, so I need to play a little bit more aggressive here. I don't want to fight her, but I need to be careful because all this does coming. I'm gonna put my control in this pixel. I told you before to not put the control in this pixel. I'm doing it now just to control the area here. But I can't play aggressive. Giovanna did cancel a reset. There's nothing she can do right now on the map. I'm in a wonderful composition. I can still start the dragon. I have raw damage. W. We have bot prior. And now she goes to her crux. Why? Because she can't fight the dragon. We have the prior. We have the pressure. We have the vision. We have everything. And that is what the reason why I fight like this is because I have raw damage. Can I gank bot lane? Let's see. I'm gonna cover bot lane while ganking mid lane. And let's gank mid lane. There's a, there's a ward, so I'm probably not gonna kill her. I'll walk away. Maybe can engage on her if she tries something. Not gonna work out. Okay, I'm just gonna take my camps. Can do something top lane. Will this Aatrox reset or push? 24 HP, 18 HP. Okay. If I go top lane, though, it's way too risky because for him, he should already reset. You see, now if I walk top lane, I would be here now and I wouldn't be able to catch him. There's a chance he has a ward here. Look, I don't even need boots. Your seek has finished. I wouldn't be able to catch him. It's way too risky. There's no reason to do that. I can just take my camps. Look, look how I'm out to winning the game. You have Conqueror. What? Why the fuck do I have Conqueror? What? How? What happened? No, guys, don't learn. Don't, don't, you must unlearn what you have learned. Huh. What? Why do you have Conqueror? Okay. New runes absolutely broken. Okay, listen. We are right now going towards Herald because I still don't have boots. We know where Alistair is. Usually I want to take my bot tech camps and then play for blade from king that doesn't give me too much and dragon is also down and i will get prior so i can walk towards dragon i have it as well we are way way stronger than this situation yeah gonna wait for the we're just gonna queue the herald here the w taking the herald and then flash out <laughs> now the reason why we can get a good outcome here is because I can always queue the Herald. I'm not forced to queue the Zhivana or the Aatrox. So I will always be in a very fine position here. <laughs> it's hilarious, no? By the way, with Con with Lethal Temper, I might even be able to just kill both of them. But I would never do it because it's simply not that smart. It's not that smart because there's a chance I would die. And we never take these chances of dying, especially not below Master Tier Keg W, and you can do the exact same, guys. I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, what? No, my bad. Wasn't looking too much. Always focus on clearing, guys. LOL! Okay, we're gonna take Skull now. Now, do we reset or not? Maybe we can dive bot then. It looks very promising. Vanna's bot then? Okay, that is very... I'm gonna take this here. I don't know where Shivana is. I'm just gonna reset here and buy Blair from King. I don't want to reset when I have boots. Now, the thing is, having Bla reset Blair from King is necessary, of course. It's my core. But you always want to have T1 boots. Because even though I have Blade of Rune King, I'm kind of useless because I don't have T1 boots. I'm taking the kill here first. W. Charge it through. We're not scared of Stichuani. We do see all this was bot side. We do see Aitox is top. Nobody can kill us. We I have slightly magical footwear too. Oh, because I have Charven runes. Now I see why that all happens. I have Charven runes. You have boots, bro. <laughs> I can't even buy boots. But I wouldn't have bought boots. 
So this is perfect. Okay, I just have my charm runes. It's just mistakes, okay? Don't don't learn from that. We take these free take the free boots. Do we gang top end? Yes or no, chat? Uh, we can consider it. So that means you never you're not sure of it yet. We're just gonna walk through. Now we see he dies. And now all we do is take the wave. I don't have ult. I cannot kill him. I'm just walking up on him and see what he does. We see he does a massive mistake in fighting me. So I can literally just easily kill him. <laughs> Where is he flashing to? Narnia! He's flashing to Alois and Elstream. stream. Going back to him. Okay. Um. So, do we take the wave here? Yes, we do. Why? Because we see Aatrox has Ignite. Now, we can argue that we're taking this away from Darius, but keep in mind, we're also taking away the CS from Aatrox, because our minions will die at the tower. We see all this a bot lane, Shivana bot lane, so I'm able to take some CS. We see all on the map. If Zundra comes, she can't kill me, so I'm just gonna take the tower here a little bit. He's, he's on dragon. We can give the dragon, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're just gonna take full tower with Darius here. Aatrox will not be close. Now this is a Master Yi trick you can do. We're just gonna Herald here and keep tanking it. And now when the Herald is here, Herald will tank it for you. That only works when you know where everybody is, by the way. Only works then. And now we're holding distance. We wait until he takes tower. He doesn't know that I can just W and turn on him. I will have my double strike ready. Need to play it very slow. He will EQ. Okay. Darius misplayed that a little bit. And now we're just gonna engage on him with our Conqueror stack, which feels very, very weird. I also couldn't use my ult because I was out of mana. Could have been a little bit more optimal. But as you can see, these are one of the tricks you can do with Marcy. Always note down, scenario noted, only when you know everybody where they are in the map. You see, Ash ult could have also destroyed us, so you need to know everybody where they are. If Azundra roamed from here while I do this trick, I would be completely fucked, you know? Okay, looks like we're gonna go Dusk Plate. When do I go Dustblade? When do I go Rageblade chat? <laughs> Alaka, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Takes your top laners wave and towers in every note. <laughs> we knew where Shivana is. Yes, we saw Shivana took a dragon. So we had a lot of information. We can just use that information. I'm doing wonderful, Daniel. Thank you for asking. Okay, what I do next now? Okay, we see there's a ward. I'm gonna sweep on that as well. We will not engage on the Zyndra here. Because... We don't know where the enemies are. You see? Aatrox was missing. He could have cheesed on me. Giovanna could cheese on me. All is just missing. I need to respect that. I'm 4-0 and I'm respecting that. I'm just gonna react to her abilities. That's all I do and I'm last hitting. Now we see all this stuff. Now I can go to my camps again. So, we're gonna take Rage Blade in a lot of situations whenever we need the Dusk Blade proc or when we are hard snowballing. In games like this, Dusk Blade proc is not necessary, but here it's also very nice to have. In this game, you could take, take both. You can also take Rage Blade here in this game. But the reason why I'm I take Dusk Blade is because I'm hard snowballing. Okay, they fight here. I'm just gonna take the plant. I have ult. I don't want to use my abilities now. Look, I'm not gonna use my ult yet. I'm just gonna Q all attack. Auto attack, auto attack, and I'm gonna walk back to the wave. Do I take it? Phyllis is dead for nine more seconds. The reason why I take it now is because it's literally just more efficient. I don't get that much XP from it, but I get a lot of gold. I would have already my dust split after that, and I can push the entire tower. Edge is dead for 10 seconds, so yes, we just speed up the entire process if we take the wave in. It's for sure macro I speak and smart. We take everything! <laughs> okay. Bring her away so she doesn't steal our gold. Noted. Okay. Now, we have two options. Option, like now you have a lot of different options. This is what I love about jungle. It's not like top lane. You are having options. You literally have options. You can go to Herald right now, gank top lane. You could also do blue buff right now and kill Ash again. Both is completely fine. The strength why jungle is, was and is in a wonderful position is because enemies don't know what you will be doing because both is good. And this is also what I dislike about other roles is that you are forced, for example, there is in the Aatrox, to go top lane. But as a jungler, you can decide. And the, the free decision, the freedom to decide is what I love as well. 
We're just gonna take the Herald here. We're not die from the burn, so I'm just gonna kill it again, I guess. Oh. We see three people on the map. We see four people on the map. Okay, we see everybody on the map here. Pinging, pinging my team. Maybe I need to give the Herald. As you see, I'm 6-0. I have Dust Blade, but I'm playing it very slow. I don't see Alistar. I need to respect it. I'm not gonna die stupidly. Okay, she engages on me. I'm gonna proc my Dust Blade here. Okay, absolutely fine. I'm gonna proc my Dust Blade now. Get my, my Rage. Okay, we do see Zundra as well. I could kill them and kite them, but it's not that smart, and I wouldn't recommend you to do it. It's way better if I just play slow and I respect it. You see, I don't need these kills to win the game now. Let's see what happens here. All I need to do is get all these camps. Take take Herald, reset, take Dragon. Wait for my Dust Blade and ult again. I didn't use my um, my Flash. I need to be played very safe here. I'm just gonna Q, smite this, maybe Flash out. Dance a little bit, Flash out. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna take the... He wants to fight me. Dust Blade. Okay. I probably can't proc it. I'll just try to disengage still. I have my W on, on her E. I will, okay. Get my resets here. W again. All attack at my dust pad proc. All attack Q. Okay. The thing is, I hate having Conqueror, honestly. It's so weird. Did you? Enemies of F again. So it's an FF15, and it's an FF5, then it's an FF15, and it's gold, platinum. Now it's emerald elo already. You can do the same, guys. You can do the same. Analyze every single click and movement I do. You can do the same. What is this champ? <laughs> I love it. Isn't it beautiful? What do you do when you lost a game? What review you yourself? Seen your own mistakes? Noted them down and then just need to something to free your head? Yes, very well said. That's literally the best thing you can do. Now, I don't do that all the time. Keep in mind, rewatching all your games, all your losses is a lot of work. And I do want it to be always efficient. So what I recommend you to do is you can set yourself like limits. For example, when you have a game where you have above seven deaths, you're going to analyze it. When you have a game where you lose, you're going to analyze it. When you have a game where you struggle in the late game or you feel like you could have done more, you analyze it. Whatever you feel comfortable with. I personally wouldn't analyze every single game. But in season 10, I had it once a time where I was analyzing every single loss I had and there were sometimes times where I literally sit there and was extremely mad because I made z one mistake or zero mistakes the entire game or let's say one mistake only while my button is 0 20 but I still was so focused in climbing so while I was tilted I go into the game and I told myself you are the reason you lost the game you had to control. Your bot lane made 25 mistakes right there. 25 mistakes. But you made the one mistake. And if you didn't do this one mistake, you could have won. So accept that you are the reason you lost. Now take a break. Fresh air. Some water. Talk to your family. Say that you love them. Be proud, thankful for your position. Go for a walk. And then go back and try your best again. <laughs> okay, I go outside now. Yes, yeah, I always am very energetic when I coach as well. My coachings are very energetic. I try to give you guys my spiritual, my, my mindset as well. Okay, in this game we are playing against Lee Sin. Against Lee Sin you can take Ghost and you can take Flash. Both is completely fine. I will be taking Flash now. Also because of Karma, because of Ash. Against these two champions, Ghost is not very useful. They will still slow you way too much. They will kite you way too much. But with Flash you can particularly one-shot them. Against Lee Sin, it doesn't really matter. All you need to do against Lee Sin is try to avoid his ult at any circumstances. It's very important that you avoid his ult. Oh, I need to swap my runes. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Against Lee Sin, it's extremely important to... Um, <laughs> I would actually do Unbank to Master now with Conqueror if I, if I forget it. One second, guys. The game already started. Nice. Wonderful. And I'm almost getting a remake already in. Your pride blinds you.
Another tip, guys. The game starts minute one. Minute zero, not after that. So if you need to do some stuff, IRL, talk to people. Or whatever, go to the restroom. You need to do it before the game, not like me, streamer. We're going to win this now, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We have a ward, we don't have sweeper, absolutely fine. Will he invade me after that? The focused mind Could be. He walked away on the minimap, we're not sure yet. Now, if he, if Lee Sin invades me, it wouldn't matter too much. Losing my blue buff and my Grum is good now. It has a lot of strength as well. Because that means that my Grump will respawn faster. You see what that did, what I did with the small Kruk here? That's a thing you can do. You can kind of like outplay the small Kruk in a way that it never hacks you and you have a more healthy clear. Flash is better here. Yes, I explained that in the Champions Elect. You can go back and watch it if you want to. The main reason is just that I do, don't get... Um, like, Ghost doesn't help me against getting kited from Ash and... And Karma. Doesn't really help me. Oh my fucking god. Did this really happen? Okay, maybe I can get mid lane now because I'm delayed. Adapt to the new situation. That's like one of the only situations where you can have a gank option. I'm gonna take W and just walk up on her. And it picks mastery. And get an engage. Not that optimally done scenarios. from Zyndra. Game is lost. Gonna walk up on her. Probably get her flash. Probably will not kill her. We have double sums. Can Lee Sin be here? I have W up. Lee Sin could be here. I'm just gonna put a ward now. The cheese on me, that's fine. I'm just gonna take blue buff. Could have been a little bit better. It was unfortunate path. And can we dive top lane now instantly? We saw Lee Sin top side. I'm just gonna try to help Set. He doesn't know that I'm very healthy in clearing. I'm on my way. Set has flash. He has a huge minion wave. He can stall this if he plays it correctly. I'm gonna walk up to him. Can't Q. I'm just gonna queue the minion to use my get my wrap up on both of them. W reset. Okay, we got this in flash as well. Second so play more aggressive. We can. I have my W. I'm not that scared. As you can see, I want the enemies to stay and play aggressive. Step two does it a little bit too aggressive. I'm gonna W here. Even if he jumps, I'm just gonna play it like this. We don't didn't get Malphite flash yet. Now we got Malphite flash. He has to reset. Is there something I can do about it? Okay, I'm just gonna walk through here. I think I will catch him. I will take the tower aggro here. Wait until set to is the thing. Now I'm gonna Q. He takes the tower aggro. He should have W again, but it's not gonna save him. He misplayed it a bit. And now should we freeze the wave? Should we do it? Absolutely 1v9 play. I'm gonna do it. Okay, there's a method to be. I forgot about that. I wanted to freeze the wave and make this wave crash under the tower with my Q and W mechanics. But it wouldn't be that smart because of Malfoy TP annoying me. Now we have two options. Just gonna smite this. He would have smite up. Dodge this one if possible. W. Probably will not survive it. I probably will just die here. I'm gonna reset auto attack, auto attack. Was very close if I get my W back up. Could have done something different. No, I needed to sidestep the Lee Sin Q. Very good aim from him. What he did was extremely stupid. The, the pair thing he did was extremely stupid. If I dodged his Q, I would have already won jungle completely. Now it's gonna be more interesting. What I could have done is... Hmm, I saw him and I smited. Maybe react a little bit earlier. Maybe I should have... Just reacted earlier like i wasn't expecting it at all to listen to come from here but i should have at least not forgot about it that it could potentially happen i think that's one of the mistakes i did okay now it's gonna be interesting and we bought that is ahead the enemies have got more kills than us how are we gonna make this game win did you guys see which elo this is can you type in the chat which elo this is because i didn't see the borders is this emerald or is it still more platinum than it is emerald i'm just gonna clear top side now these camps are still level one i get a lot from this this is unoptimal it's cannon support can i do something to protect him can i defend the dragon i cannot go for the scuttle of course the enemies have way too much prior stopping my clear is very unhealthy for me i'm gonna carry this game i'm just gonna sacrifice if needed I'm gonna ignore the dragon, enemy karma, enemy mid lane, enemy listen. Way too dangerous. I'm pretty weak. 
Cincy Emerald mostly okay. So I think this is already Emerald Elo. So we had one gold game, one platinum game, and now this is already Emerald. Okay, mm -mm. I'm gonna walk towards enemy chickens. Maybe we can invade top lane. Engage top lane because the wave is pushing towards us. Let's see if I can protect the Sin here. Focus the Sin, he has no escape survivability. Now I'm just gonna attack her with lethal tempo. I will get her. Nice. Attack here. If you take a tech move there, we'll push this. Okay, I'm gonna. He will TP. Maybe we can engage top lane. What is the reason why I'm not ganking top lane right now, guys? Do you know why? I wish she was platinum. Thank you very much for checking that, Knox. I really appreciate it. The reason why I'm not insta ganking him right now is because he has ult. And with his ult, he has a consistent disengage option. So I'd rather take a consistent chickens. Probably will not kill him. But if we trade ult to kill him, that's already very good. There's a chance he even survives this if he plays it well. He didn't play it well. He was very slow. So I can just run up at him. Auto attack W, auto attack. The wave is not needed to be pushed. I win that. I'm just gonna insta use my ult. We'll get my Q back up as well. I have my Q back up. I will just chase him down. I will not use my Q yet. Not use my Q yet. Not use my Q yet. Now I'm gonna use my Q. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. You see, I only use my Q when the kill is extremely consistent. And he did the same mistake again. Now finally, he got punished. So what Lee Sin did was a habit mistake he did before. Before he got rewarded for the habit mistake, now he got punished. So what I try to tell you now, guys, what I do with my coaching, what I try to do with my streams, is I'm gonna show you good habits, okay? The set Malphite is getting, it's actually Sin again. Wow, I'm gonna attack the Sin here. I need to be careful, I have my Q back up. I'll attack the, oh, I'm just gonna Q here to dodge everything, smite this one. Probably need to disengage. I will have my flash. Auto attack this one here. Yeah. My friend has no ult, so I'm not scared about that. Maybe I can W have my uh, W soon. Okay, dodge this one. I'm just gonna W right here. Auto attack, auto attack. Okay, very good reaction from Vex. Need to be careful. I have W again, so I'm not that scared. I'm just gonna Q Lee Sin. W again. I'm not that scared. I'm not that scared. I have my W in 5. I'm not that scared. Now I want Lee Sin to hit me. I'm gonna W here again, and then I W again. Okay, listen chat! Okay, this temp is funny, no? I love it. How can you be so bad? Yes! Emerald Elo, or Platin. Both still pretty, yeah, around that. You can do it, guys. Oh, we need a 3k gold, we need to reset. Forgot about it. Forgot about it. Okay, so what I wanted to say before, you, most of, the, of you guys are in the ELO you are right now because of habit mistakes and because of good habits. That means you are at that low you are because of habit mistakes and you are at that high you are because of habit, good habits. And the reason why I'm consistently getting to the absolute top challenger is because I am very consistent. Consistent means the habits I'm doing, the way I clear path kite fight is always the exact same. I'm just gonna repeat the same thing Apex I did before. Master e. I'm not gonna use my ult yet. If it's scenarios, I want to walk towards Ash. The moment she slows me, I'm gonna use my ult. Karma slowed me, did use ghost. She actually outrun me, that's kinda crazy. Need to be careful, Lee Sin is also here. I think Karma flashed as well, we got flash and ghost. Otherwise, there would be no escape potential. I'm not gonna do dragon. I told you earlier, Lee Sin is a counter of Marcy. So we need to avoid Lee Sin his kick. Very important. So we're gonna take wrap up. Hero, thanks a lot for the third months in a row. Appreciate it. Is he now better in preseason? I think he is better in preseason, yes. And I can't wait for Master Yi um, being there. But for you as well, Hero, there will be no preseason. You see that it's a dragon, Ash, Karma, and Lee Sin. We don't need to fight it. I don't have ult, I don't have flash. Take dragon, take it. I'm 7 1, take it. I can't contest it. I give it. It's fine. There will be no preseason. The season will end, I think, in 9th of January. Nice, wonderful, good job. We get Lee Sin killed, the dragon doesn't matter. Um, the season will probably stop at 9th of January, and then instantly the next season starts, as far as I got it correctly. I'm gonna sweep here. Maybe we can find a catch on the Malphite here. He probably resets in this bush, so I assume I get something out of it. 
I'm gonna kite here a little bit. Probably will not kill him. I need to be careful. I don't know if he has still his ult. Um, I'm not sure if he still has ult, so I'm just gonna respect it. I'm just gonna respect it. There was a time... I i don't know if he had ult. Did, he, did anyone pick anything? Lee Sin is here. I'm just gonna try to sidestep this. Lee Sin is permanently trying to fight me everywhere. And we are con very well knowing of avoiding him. Look, look at his CS. <laughs> look at his sin CS. That's only because he tries to target us. And we know exactly how to avoid him. Can be mid lane again. We need to respect this in. We're getting top lane now. He has no flash. Maybe we can dive him. So now, even if Lee Sin is top, that wouldn't matter. Because we are strong at 2v2. Set is full HP. Method has no flash. You see? Lee Sin is here. And I'm not scared. I'm pushing. I even want to fight here. I am not that scared. I did use my ult. Lissin played it pretty well. Well, well. Pretty well done from Lissin. But as you can see, there's nothing he can do. No matter how well he plays. Um, and how high was the chance I die? <laughs> Zero. That should always be the way. Your summoner tracking skills are so beyond me. That will come with experience. You know why I can track sums and ult so well? I'll tell you, because if Malphite has Q, if Malphite has E, if Malphite has TP, if Lee Sin has Q, if Lee Sin has E, all these things don't matter. What truly matters is, does Malphite have ult? Does Lee Sin have ult? Does Malphite have flash? That's it! Lee Sin flash, maybe. I don't care about the rest. Go! Flash! Lee Sin, press, press three E's. E, 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 I don't care. You have zero cooldown. I don't- I only care if you have kick. Right now I am... Um, this is in Platin Emerald Elo. And we're playing this until, like, we're doing full education until Master Tier. Maybe I'm gonna even play further beyond that and then using this as tryhard. And doing more educational content, but we will see, we will see. Now we're doing the unranked to Master full edu ed educational. <laughs> I'm just gonna take chickens here. And like, the, it's, 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 it will be very easy for me to climb with any champion. Even with Zoraka, it will be easy to climb to master tier. Jungle, Zoraka jungle. Because Braum jungle, Blitzcrank jungle. Because I just know the fundamentals extremely well. And you can climb with your main champion for sure. And right now I even have 20% discount on the core, so let's get it. Let's get it. Let us we'll never be as low in price ever again. I'm gonna consider a top lane play here. If he ults away, that's fine. He does have flash, we know that. Ooh! That's juicy! If he ulted away before and I didn't queue him, that would be fine. I give it. We get his ult, we get valuable stats, we get everything we want. It's not good to Herald, but when Herald is still up, yes, I should have used Herald, yes. I should have used Herald, I sometimes miss it when I'm way too focused. You're correct, you're absolutely correct. I should have used Herald bot lane. Now I'm gonna use mid lane Herald. I'm just gonna end the game now because it's already GG. We're way too far ahead. I'm three levels ahead. It's absolutely GG. Usually, Lando, man, thank you for five gift and I appreciate and it. If it's scenarios, game is don't off. take Harry, don't, don't take inhibitors that easy, that early on. Now we're just gonna end the game real quick. We're gonna queue out again. We're just gonna end the game. It's really easy. Like we're and still in platin ever. Like, and there are a lot of people who are below ever. There are a lot of people who are gold platin. And as you can see, it's 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 not it's not like uh, it's it's. Oh, I just sidestep now everything. Well done from her. No, it's ca they actually tried to defend it, but there's no way the enemies can do anything about it. And if it's scenarios, game is lost. They really tried to defend this. Yeah, that's fine. Then we have a, a little bit of a more juicy one. I appreciate Lander I appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful and stay. Mastery. Let me make the camera a little bit bigger here. Game is lost. I really appreciate it, brother. 
Okay, now I think it's perfect. And GG! Uh, we played four games, mostly. and so far, all of these four, the enemies FF instantly the moment they can FF. You can do the same, my friends! Would you pick Vi this game? Tuko, I'm not doing educational content in general right now. I'm doing unranked to master series with master Yi only. I will do that with multiple champions in the future. So you just need to stay tuned. I'm gonna explain jungle fundamentals in general so you learn a lot. And Psycho in the future, I will probably even do a journey with Vi only to um, master eventually. Now we are focused on master Yi. But if Yi gets banned, he, he was banned earlier, and then I just picked Charvan or any other jungler you want to see. It I don't I don't mind it at all if we have a few games without Master Yi. But this is mainly a Yi journey to uh, Master, of course. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. In in my games through five v five, either don't really happen that much, or they're over very fast. And they haven't had to learn real 5v5 mechanics yet. Yeah, that will also come within time. I don't think you should mind that that much. How many games did you play already, Lurken? And as well, um, when it happens, you can just analyze it a little bit more. The general tip I can give you with Master Yi, if you get into 5v5 situations, if you get into teamfight situations, is that you are very patient. Most Yi mains I coach below Master Tier are very impatient. They are fighting way too early. Sometimes they are way better than the Elo they are right now, but they are just fighting way too early. And with my explanations and with showing you guys how patient you actually have to be, you can, and they did, skyrocket in Elo as well. Okay, let's do it. Would you? We're gonna take the same runes. You can take, by the way, just that being said, these are the best runes of Master Yi. You can take Treasure Hunter, you can take Last Stand. Besides that, you can take Armor or Magic Resistant in rare situations. Most of the times, health is better. Most of the times, Coupe de Gras is better to secure kills, to execute damage. Even if Last Stand had better statistics, to execute people it's better. And in a lot of situations, Treasure Hunter is just very nice to have to get your spikes faster. But Relentless Hunter is great when you need the extra mobility. Ivan invade level 1 incoming and here I am also there to help you Cooper Z. You probably don't know, but Ivan level 1 gank is absolutely useless. It doesn't do anything. This is platin, right? Yeah, this is still platin emerald. Okay, great. Ivan should get maybe invade after he did one side of his passive. If he invades level 1, that is very useless and fucks up his clear. How do I carry three inting laners who flame me as a Graves? I know I can farm up, but at some point my team just throws the game and it's GG. Turas, two things. First of all, that your team flames you doesn't matter. You try your absolute best. Second thing is, there are a lot of games where you will automatically lose no matter what the fuck you do. Automatically lose. There will be many games in the future as well. Yes, in the past. For me as well. Yes, there, that is. That is just facts. Now, that being said... We should stay here, we should stay here. Oh. Oh my god! He pretend before he stacked. I'm gonna kite here a little bit. Have my cure. Wait a little bit. Oh! I knew I would survive this reset. And I'm gonna buy long sword. Probably dagger and control what it's very nice to have. I'm not gonna stay in base too long. I have half HP, but that's fine. My clear is very healthy. They can kite if they wanted to. So, and the second thing is that we will be many games where you automatically lose. All you can do is try your absolute best with your knowledge, with the knowledge you learn throughout the time, the knowledge I give to you. That's all you can do. It's that simple. I'm gonna give you an example. Imagine you go to the groceries and you're asking for a nice bread. Right? A bread with cheese. And then you come up to me and say, what if the cashier declines it and says, you are not getting bread with cheese. What do you do if there is no bread and cheese? 
in the first place. I mean, worst case scenario, you don't get a bread of cheese. In some games, you just lose. Sometimes you don't get your fucking bread of cheese. Your life is still going to be great, and next day you will get it. Right? Same for the losses. There will be some games where you're out to lose, and sometimes you just are unfortunate. That happens. Maybe analyze your situation. Maybe you could have talked nice to the cashier. Maybe you just uh, weren't flaming her permanently. Flaming her back. I don't know what exactly it is. <coughs> okay. My voice is going crazy. Okay. Maybe Ivan was invading us, but we could not care less. Because Ivan can only, and that's a massive disadvantage Ivan has on invading, can only invade one camp. And I love that about playing against Ivan. Because even if he took my blue buff level 1, go take it! <laughs> I will still get my Le Gump. I will still get my Le Wolves. And I'm full relaxing. I am full relaxing. Okay? You see, I'm just full clearing. I don't even watch. That's fine. I got my kills. I got my dagger. I am full relaxing. Maybe I can kill the top lane now. Looks promising. She has no flash. Can be punished very quickly. Sweeper. Ivan here. Yeah. Respect, respect, respect. Gonna walk up. Ivan is coming. W. Dodge the shield. Oh, it was a little bit too aggressive here. Could have played it a little bit better. My Q placement wasn't perfect. Do we win this? Come on, Tom Ken. Show me your tongue in game. No. It doesn't look too good. Okay. It was too aggressive. I should have just W'd and then... But can I fight the Ivan? I think I always lose it because there's too much pressure. What I should have done is... Probably just... <laughs> Debatable. You saw me pretty late. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's fine. Hey, did, does he die? Is Ignite on him? Nice. Top scout, top scout can also be taken. It's 22 CS. Now, it's a massive mistake to go for top scout because it makes my entire clear very inefficient. It's way better to go to my Crux now and then take my chickens. And then take top scout. Because I think Rump Ivern will be taking his spots I can. And also, I need to defend bot lane, of course. I need to make sure that Ash doesn't get cheesed here. <laughs> I'm just chilling here. Doesn't seem like she gets dove. Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna walk up. Should I attack Blitzcrank? He uses his E, I'm just gonna Q his E. No flash as well. Walk away. You see, it can be very simple. Now, did we need top scatter, guys? Is this pre-season? No, this is season. This is still season 13. Pre-season will not... It doesn't exist. No. Um, the next season and the changes will come in January. I was gonna take this. Do we go dragon now or not, guys? What do you think? Dragon or not? Type it in the chat. Yes or no? Yes or no? We are all trying he here to learn. Mm, should we yes or no? Yes or no? No! Yes! Exactly! Because Blitzcrank was out of Fog of War, Ivan was in Fog of War, and we did already reset. Now we can argue, but you have bot prior, you have mid prior. Yes! But I don't have ult. I have a lot of gold in the pocket. My top side cams are up. It's a little bit inconsistent. There is a chance I would lose it. Now, do I w want to lose my Platinum Emerald game? No, I want 100% win rate. And I want you to have 100% win rate in your Emerald games as well, my brothers, my friends, my soldiers. Maybe I can do something about this Alawi here. Starting to get a little bit on our nerves, right? Plural! Yeah, but first we're gonna take the Scuttle here. Because we want to get our level 6. I hope it gives us level 6. Look at our my HP right, XP right now. It gives me almost no XP, the first scuttle. Okay, now we're level 6. Now we're finally a champion. Keep in mind, level 6 is one of Masi's power spikes. You don't want to fight before that. Okay. We're gonna ult here. Where's Twitch? Where's Twitch? Where the fuck is Twitch? Oh, he's low, extremely low. What, why is he so low? What, is that? what just happened? Ivan is also cheesing here. They knew. That's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna reset here. Now imagine I didn't have ult. How easy I would die here. Uh, a little bit confusing what happens here. That's fine. I'm just gonna buy Berserkers and more raw damage. 
With Master Yi, you want to buy attack speed and raw damage. You don't want to buy full attack speed or full raw damage. Very important. So if you buy Berserker's first item, you don't do that. You only buy Berserker's when you already have a Longsword, Dorn's Blade or Pickaxe. Now because I already bought Berserker's, I want to buy more attack damage. Because with that, I can actually full 1v9. Because attack damage and attack speed both combined will make Master Yi to actually become the master of Vuju. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but Master Yi solo handedly fought an entire army and won. That's only because he bought attack speed and attack damage. Not one alone. And if you buy one alone, if you buy one alone, then you want to buy raw damage instead of attack speed. Maybe I can get mid lane here. Control world here. I'm gonna walk up. Could be warded. Mit deiner Kraft und Leidenschaft. Okay, listen, chat. Here we got a flash. Just gonna walk up. Just gonna flash over the wall. Don't use my EQ yet. Should my Q now. Okay, Ivan is behind me. Could be taking that. I'm gonna try to attack him. Q if possible. Have my Q back up soon. Wait until he jumps. Wait until he jumps. WQ reset. Dance a little bit. Should we take one more tower? I'm gonna W it? Yes or no? Yes or no, chat? <sighs> ah! Okay, listen. We're gonna reset here. Who can kill us? Let's. We don't take dragon. This can could be everywhere. We're just pathing topside for some fucking reason. I don't need this dragon to win this game. I am 4 0. I have 600 gold. I don't need it. I would rather take blue ground bulls and then maybe go dragon. <coughs> bad habit, Captain Key. Exactly. It's a bad habit. Not that I go on the tower, but that I'm a complete dis. Um. Onerous. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm missing the words. Okay, let's walk up. Press Q. And this is how you climb to uh, Master Tier. Unring to Master, all you have to do is Q and then do the auto attack. Let the Twitch be mad. That's fine. Okay, in the next step, we consider taking Herald. I'm gonna take Scuttle as well. The reason why we took this kill from Twitch is because we are the win condition. I did not know that it gets so upset about it, but always play around the win condition. It can be yourself as well. Very important. Okay, we're just gonna take the leash here. That's absolutely fine. How much is coaching? Currently my coaching is 90 euros per hour. And it was like that for a long time. But now for the first time ever in Zenaria's history, there's a 20% discount only for this weekend. That means you will get the discount for the next weeks if we schedule a session on that weekend. So you just DM me on Discord. Hey, I want the discount, solo coaching, let's go. And then we're gonna be like, okay, which time is fine for you in a few weeks or whatever. And then you get the discount. Only works for this weekend. Where's my music again? It's gone. I'm gonna walk towards... Okay. Listen to this again. Okay, gonna take chickens and now we can take dragon. Now we got Herald, now we take dragon. We want to take first... We're gonna take tower. Now we got already first blood tower. I wasn't focusing that much there. I should have. That's absolutely fine. I'm very fat. Can we kill Oriana? Looks very promising. Could be wards everywhere here. Be dangerous. Be careful about that one. Just gonna walk around here. The wave is pushing to in. I kill her very quickly. So I'm just gonna walk up. Don't use my ult. I don't want to use my ult. I want to use my Q only. I want to use my my Herald. We see Ivern top lane and we see Blitzcrank bottom and we see Oriana dead. That instantly tells us, chat, that we potentially can push two towers. Give this to give this to the to to Victor. He will smile. He will be happy. He will tell his friends, guys, I found a Marcy guy who gave me his camps. Who gave me his uh my main my minions. No, who who didn't take away my minions. Okay. Now do we push T3 or not? Of course not. T3 is absolutely useless. Only T2 is important. Keep that in mind for the rest of your lives. 
Okay, I'm gonna take Grump afterwards. Do, 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 do. Where's Blitzcrank gonna go? I wanna see it too. Gonna finish that here real quick. You see him in the stairs again. It's every game the same. I'm again free levels ahead. 100 CS. Because of... What am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna take Scuttle now. Now I'm gonna ask you a serious question, guys. Did I play absolutely insane this game? Absolutely crazy good? Or was I just casually, automatically winning because I know what I have to do? Can I get an answer to this shit? Mm -hmm. T1 gives now 325 gold instead of 75. It does give more gold and now it's more useful to go for T3s, but it's still useless to go for T3s. <coughs> T3s give you almost nothing. The reason why T2 is so good and also the first tower is so good is mainly because of the pressure. This mid lane tower gives you an insane amount of pressure. Same for the T2. Look. If I was engaging, uh, ganking this Orianna and this Blitzcrank now, they would need to walk until T3 to be safe. So we can chase them down for eternity. There's no disengage option for the enemies. If I have T3 already, they can still, will still be safe if they run until T3. Okay, this allowing starts to get a little bit annoying, so we're just gonna um, get her on her place again. Try to kill her. I don't know what she's about to do, but she literally just auto-pilot tries to end the game here I'm gonna walk at her I need to queue the minions to get out this is absolutely insane Ivan is permanently hugging her I need to run away absolutely fine yeah, I'm just gonna W here in base my team is coming I'm gonna push further that's like all the enemies have in order to win like they have to play like this because they have no other strengths but we will be able to shut that up pretty 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 easily <clears throat> okay, we're gonna take my chickens again. Now it's very important that I'm actively on the map, so I'm just gonna see what happens. Can Blitz try to clear this? He cannot, of course. Okay, very interesting. I'm gonna sweeper here as well. You need to be careful. Me to kill Ilao. I think she's gonna go bot lane now. I do kill her 1v1 pretty quickly. So now look what I'm about to do. I'm trying to find Ilao. The moment I see her, I want to kill her. She has Halbrek and she has Sterax. We don't see Ivern. They die, which is already great. She doesn't have ult yet. No E. And I'm just gonna walk straight towards her. Use my resets perfectly. So as you can see, she's the only threat they have. So if we know the enemy's only threat, we just need to know what they what their next move will be. Why was it Aoi pushing that aggressively? Why did she use her? Why was he playing so aggressively, Chad? Because she knew she needs to push now and, and, and get the two bot lane and pressure. Otherwise we will end mid lane. So she's kinda like permanently under pressure. I'm just gonna try to see if I can find something. I don't want to engage too quickly now. I want to cue the eye when it becomes any closer. I was about to get my Q back up, but I didn't. To be careful, I don't have all. Oh, this is not very optimal. Oh, it's not very optimal. He doesn't have ult, so I'm just gonna walk away now. I think my flash over the wall was too aggressive. I even said it. I shouldn't be doing that. So we knew that Ilawi plays extremely aggressive. I'm just gonna reset here. Are you gonna put a ward there? I'm just gonna reset W in this bush. I can fight that again. I think we should focus Blitzcrank or Oriana. It's also fine to focus. Tries to do a sneaky play, but that's not enough for us. It was just important that we avoid the ward here, the obvious ward. So Ilawi was forced to push side to pressure and we just instantly punish that knowing that, that she, she's about to do that. So as you can see, even though the enemies have a very a problem, it's easy for us to shut it down. Alright, beautiful. Can I apply this to all champs? I play Kardos Hecrim or is this a Yi thing? 
99% of the things I explain is for every single champion. Most of the things I explain are fundamental decisions and habits, which you can apply for every single champion. That is the exact reason why I can climb to challenger with every single champion. Because I know the knowledge. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give you guys the knowledge. Okay, I'm gonna push this wave here. And then I'm gonna go for dragon. I have my Odin 5. I don't have flash. We see two people on top lane. I actually want to test how much I get from inhibitors now. Of course, going that deep is absolutely terrible. I'm gonna hide until behind my minions here. I'm just gonna play a little bit aggressive. We see Oriana top lane. I'm not that scared. I want to take Dragon, but it's not wing condition. I want to take Inhibitor and see how much gold I get. I don't have Her uh, Dustbite yet. I'm just gonna take the Hate it. It's absolutely fine. And try to finish the Daisy here. Should be ulting me. Yep. That's complete green. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Like, we just... I shouldn't be doing that. But, I, but at least I told you guys that I want to test the limits right there. And I wanted to see what I exactly get. So, absolutely fine. We dodged the Oriana ult. It doesn't matter. Um, we still die because we just shouldn't be there. We should have taken Dragon. Then pushed Mod 92 to GV1. So, you see, it can be very, very easy. Mm -hmm. I really want to see Emerald game when three of Zenera's laners are losing and losing their minds. That would be great, no? But I have to say, most people don't lose their minds because there's already so much jungle pressure in. But I would love to do that. What we can do, chat, is... What we can actually do is intentionally die early on so you guys see how to play even from behind. So it gets a little bit more challenging. Because I will just have 100% win rate. Because I know that the fundamentals so well. So now I can even use the fundamentals of playing from behind. So I could die two times. And then I play absolutely normally. For example. Report it. <laughs> <clears throat> Head of Blades works on this build. Yes, it does. But Level Tempo is way better. Not even like Head of Blades is, does work, but Level Tempo is way better. No joke would help a lot, honestly. I'm considering it right now. I'm not gonna promise that I'm about to do that. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Maybe not at all. I'm not gonna promise that. But maybe I will have a game. What you can do is you can ask me for that. Let's let's see how much damage I actually deal. <laughs> I can easily win against Silawi like that. Absolutely crazy. Even though she hit everything. Isn't that hilarious? You're so strong with these kind of items if you get to that situation. Even if there were more enemies. With the dust by proc, I can just get so much. Alright, beautiful. Well played, GG. Was a beautiful game since Champions Elect. <laughs> nice. Gold 121 placed. We're almost platinum already. You see how fast it actually gets. Teacher of Voodoo. 100% win rate. There, I am the helpful hand for you guys. I am the helpful hand for you guys. Do you remember how much was your light? You mean how much, how much it cost? I bought it from Ikea for I think 30 or, or, or 50 euros or something. I'm going to answer you in a second, Vrex Lan. Can you set stream viewers, locations, Twitch, etc. I would what nationality master mains. Uh, I think 20 
80 um 20 percent of my viewers are german of 18 four percent austria where i came from and 15 percent america and then the rest is com very spread it okay let's do it if you have questions guys feel free to ask feel free to ask Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna put a ward. Everything correctly. Everything's fine. He tries to cheese me. That's absolutely fine. Just gonna... This ward, what the Volibear just put, is extremely useless. If you are a jungler, I would highly recommend to not put a ward like that. Why? Because what's the, what does he actually get from it? He doesn't see my chickens. He doesn't see my rap buff. I'm not gonna walk through here anyways. It's extremely useless. So what I'm trying to tell you guys, if you was the, ra the Volibear, and you want to put a ward, at least put a ward here or there where you see the enemy chickens. With that information, if you see the chickens or the rap buff, you can actively tell where I start, where I path to what my plan is. This ward now does absolutely nothing. 15%, let's go. Fuck champ! Fuck champ. Do not let your pride I mean, what we can do to tell you where my viewers come from. Guys, where do you come from? Um, Avengers, assemble! Now type all, not only your country, but also your... Uh, actually, okay, type your country now. Type your country. And now you're gonna see glowing lights throughout the entire globe. <laughs> France, okay, Colombia, Austria, Argentina, Australia, Poland. You see, Park, Chip, Austria again, Park, Deutschland, Park, Portugal, South Africa, South Africa. Okay, why don't you say, uh, hmm. Costa Rica, wow, that's cool. I heard Costa Rica is extremely fucking expensive. Christmas Island, US, India. Okay, okay, I need. Okay, let's go. Okay, back to the educational part. Uh, very nice. I'm very happy to see so many individual countries, and it's it's, it's really nice, really nice. I will tell you. I will tell you a secret, guys. A secret. When I stop being a streamer, when I stop doing coaching and everything. I want to visit all of you guys, this country. Yes. Okay, now we focus again. The flow of time waits for note. Smite the blue buff always. You can start, you can do grump after wolves. You can also do uh, blue up. Like if you do blue or grump after wolves, doesn't really matter. Both is completely fine. We consider a bot lane gank. We consider a mid lane gank. Everything is in a wonderful position. They have a prior right now. Mm, can we dive that? Doesn't seem like it. Jin wants to reset. I dislike that, but that's absolutely fine and respectable. I don't know where Volibi is. I'm gonna start this right now. I probably should not have smited. Just save my smite, not smite the blue buff. Um, if I saw bot lane state, it would have been a bit better. I do have ghost here as well. It's simply good to have against Braum to kite his passive. It's good against Lux. Okay, and tries to engage here. I'm here to help. Let's see if I can do something. Just to auto attack. Don't use your E. Don't use your E. Don't use your E. Now I'm gonna use my E. And now he's already dead. Without noticing, he's already dead. And that is exactly how you play Marcy. If I used my E earlier, he would have been like, Wow, he did so much damage. And then run away earlier. And he doesn't even need to flash. And he would survive very easily. But because I saved my E, we surprised him with damage. And that works until Challenger. I even did it against Dantes. I did it against Dantes in Korea. I surprised him with my E damage. And he ended up dying. He would have not died if I didn't surprise him like that. And that being said, if even it works against Dantes, one of the best junglers in North America, then <clears throat> you can do the same. You can do the same. Okay, I'm gonna take Crux now, and then I'm gonna take Chickens. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Mm, nice, Volibear's top side, and you see how fucked this Volibear is? I'm 12 CS up, I'm almost one level up, I'm one kill ahead. And this is Emerald. 
these are one of these is top percentage of players. It's not even low elo anymore. We're starting to get into high elo, and you see how easy it is for you to get these. Mm -hmm. All right, beautiful. Can we find a bot lane gank that would also be nice? I still have my ghost up. Would love to find a gank here. Would love to find a gank option. Let's just see what's about to happen. Going Q here. Guys, can you please do the detective work and check the e average elo that is? What does it say? Platin or emerald? Emerald free? What exactly does it say? Would you mind helping me there? Okay, we're gonna start dragon now. We're gonna stop and look like terrible. The problem about top lane play is that not only Darius dies, look at this wave. That is the main problem. Darius should never be dying like that. And Darius would not die there if he watched the Alois and L fundamental top lane course. If he knew how the wave is gonna be. If he watched the fundamental Alois course, he would have not been in that situation. Okay. He tries to eat it. Doesn't matter. Look how much control we have in the jungle. We are full shellaxing. The bot lane, okay. Dance a little bit in front of him. Oh, why the fuck not? Because we have King Ken. Now I'm gonna take top scuttle. Can we do something mid lane? Oriana had ult. I don't know why she didn't play that aggressively. Could have just ulted her. But that's absolutely fine. We do respect it. I do have ult. Uh, Volibear does not. Is Wukong trying to cheese on me? I do need to respect it a little bit. I'm just not gonna use my E here. I have my Oriana coming. So I can push a little bit further here. We have a ward here going on as well. I just don't use my E yet. I'm fully relaxing. Now I'm gonna take rap of that. I'm gonna take a chicken uh, crux and I am relaxing. Be careful, volley top. I'm gonna type it as good as possible. My bot I need to be careful a little bit more. And then it's GG. No, but uh, what I'm saying, my bot then can play aggressive. Can play aggressive bot. Why? Because Volibe is top lane. Volibe is 100% top lane if this guy's not an absolute monkey. Platform Emerald Free, Emerald Free, Platform. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, April. Have an amazing day, sir. Sinner, salute. Can you guys do me a favor? Do me a favor. April has birthday today. Can we all get a Sinari salute for April? No, he doesn't have birthday. But can we still get a Sinari salute for April the goat? <laughs> Then he pushes this. I'm just gonna reset up the chickens, I think. Or can we play for a Herald? We're gonna top prior here. Maybe I can protect this. Maybe I can protect... Uh, hmm, Darius. Oh, not only that, guys. Can I also get a normal salute? Just 07. I wanna see if the emote works. Yeah, I'm gonna just walk topside. Wukong is no old anymore and no W. I'm gonna go. He has no disengage potential because he already used his W and, and his ult. So I'm just gonna straight away kill him. Absolutely beautiful. Do I push this wave for 90 seconds? Wukong. Yeah, I push this wave. Why? Because he has no TP. Look at the summoners. He's no TP dead in 30 seconds. So even though I kill the minions from Darius, the minions from Wukong will always die. Even if Volibear tries to contest this, doesn't really matter. We couldn't care a tiny bit less. But we do get an insane amount of gold and XP. Now, he could be on Herald. We give Herald. That's absolutely fine. We're gonna take for one more plating. We're gonna con. For sure, take one more plating. I'm gonna walk this way just that they don't see me resetting. Because I could reset here, but then the chance that Volibear goes forward is extremely high. So I'd rather reset here. Oh, I'm very close to Bale from King. Okay, stay. Okay, listen, chat. Resetting is 10 times better than getting my bot side camps. But because of my items and we got looks killed, that's wonderful. We have mid prior and I'm just gonna go for that Herald. I'm gonna smite it because, again, we have mid prior and I've smite in 10 seconds anyways again. So I will have smite for this Herald nonetheless. Wait, does the salute emote work? Because I don't see it on my... Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. I think it works, right? It, for Twitch, it has to work. Of course it works. Oh, it's got it. Is he gonna come? No, no. Okay, this this game really wants me to stay, but it's fine. We have everything we wanted. The music is too loud. The reset. By another dagger. And now, what do we do? How do we win the game, chat? Grand Blue Wolves! Boom! Maybe chickens, maybe crux, spot gang, mid gang. GG! We won, go next, FF. It's extremely easy for us again. Okay, Lucian is getting stronger. Do we gank this? Hmm, I don't know where Braum is. It's a little bit too dangerous. No, I'm not. 
Okay, I'm just gonna take this one here. I am very strong. I'm 30 CS up and one um, one level up. I am in a wonderful position. 2-0 or oh, get got my power spike. Can't gank bot there. We don't know where the enemies are. I'm just gonna take my camps here. Everything is fine. Alright, beautiful. I want to take my chickens now. And this dragon spawn at 50. I want to have dragon as well. I think I'm gonna fully ignore top lane. Hmm. And I have to say the Darius is pretty fucked here on top lane, but I mean that's just how life is, no? The stronger beats the, the worse, no? That's just how life is. He did use W now. Hmm, do I even try to go for that? He doesn't do anything. I think I should have just ignored that completely. But it's still fine. I'm just gonna reset here by Berserk because then instant gank bot then. I think I wasted my time a little bit top lane. Imagine you are a Wukong player with Ignite. And then he... You're a top laner. That's enough. And then his name is... Oh my god, Wukong is OP. Okay, I need to win this. Only because of that. Okay, play for Dragon. Play Drake. I am strong. Please fight. I need to be careful though because I don't... I see looks now. Braum is in Fog of War. Vodibir is in Fog of War. I'm just gonna walk towards Dragon now. Okay, on it. Okay, I'm just gonna stack my double... My lethal tempo. Okay, Q now. You see how easy it is if I just stack my lethal tempo and I don't use my... My... Uh, if I don't use my E instantly. I even try to invade now. I think it looks... Like Maybe even come here. You see, the game can be extremely easy if you just know what's about to happen. That comes with a lot of experience and just simple knowledge. She tries to cheese my chickens because we saw her on... on Like, we saw her seeing me, so she of course tries to fuck me on chickens. Like, it, it's, it's not that complicated. I get full body block right now. I'm just gonna ghost out of here. I don't think I need a ghost, but... This is, by the way, a trick I use. I need to be careful here. I'm gonna finish this with my W reset. Okay, get a wrap off now. But this is a trick I use. I queued the minions, and when all my minions are dead, and they're only enemy minions, the enemy minions will walk towards our tower. So basically, they walk me into the free way. Do you get my points, guys? Oh, you're here again, splitting. Very nice to see you here again. Hey, yeah, Brahma is coming here. I'm just gonna Q and don't use E again. I don't use E again. I'm just gonna take second. Now use my E because I will for sure kill him. That was a very funny kill. He just is, is a drive by McDonald's burger. <laughs> by the way, I got sponsored by McDonald's. Mm -mm -mm. No, I didn't. No. Not yet, but one day I will. And I will advertise McDonald's. Oh. No, I won't. I won't. A cheeseburger to go. Yes, exactly. Yeah, eating later in many situations just better. Koopa Z. Exactly. <laughs> Get your local kebab shop to sponsor. <laughs> oh my god. Just, play, just walk up. Just don't be scared. Don't be scared. Fight him. Yeah, I think that's great. You want him to old? You want him to old? I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I love this champion. Can somebody please clip that? This is the exact reason why everybody hates playing against Wukong. Delete the champion. Okay. What we should have done is... No, he is extremely fat. Just avoid the weak side. Darius is not only ex getting completely fucked. He is extremely weak-sided and I should have just respected it. I thought I can kill him because I'm also very fat and we are strong. But... Nah. <laughs> it's Wukong. I cannot do that. Heck fucking W. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my Grump now and then I'm gonna 
probably just take blue buff. We want to play for dragon now, if possible. That's our win condition. You need to be very careful about Wukong. Because Wukong will get stronger and stronger, and I can't stop him. Nico and Orianna are both pretty okay against Wukong, so we have AP damage to kill him. And also, if I have Dust, but I can do something. Maybe we can kill Lux here. And just, I'm just gonna walk up with ult so she can ult him. If yeah, she doesn't ult, that's fine. I get the kill, nice. Got the cannon. We see two people bottom, we see Volley bottom, so I'm just gonna start Herald. Shouldn't be that scared right now. I'm gonna use my E, that's absolutely fine. He did take my Herald, which he shouldn't. That's okay. I think Darius, I hope he will be fine defending T2. Probably not, but there's nothing we can do about it. We need to ignore Darius. Big tip I can give you guys, ignore the Darius. It's fine. Let him lose T2, let him die again. Let that chick, Wukong take chickens. We need to win on the other side of the map, which is also pretty rough right now. This is gonna be a rough game, actually. But we're gonna make it work. Oriana has ult, so I'm just gonna use my ghost instantly. Let me run. I also have my dust blade. Mass. Oh, what the action suck. W this. You out. Holy shit. That was so. My, my dust pad actually was still active. And then she perfectly timed that panda. I'm gonna queue here. Disengage. Bomb tries to engage me. Nothing he can do. I need to be a little bit careful. I dropped a little bit of HP. Wasn't necessary. You can fight this. I'm strong. But I have no dust pad yet. I want to fight Braum. I'm gonna queue this here. Kite a little bit. Okay, kite, 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 kite. Two again. Get my Duffler proc. Q again. Oh, I misplayed that a little bit. Dance a little bit here just for fun. Get hit by the tower for no reason, but that's absolutely fine. Could have been played better. I think my Darius wants to have F, but we're not gonna have F. This. We're gonna Herald here. W again. Just gonna spam W. I will have my Q up again. He doesn't know that I'm extremely strong, so I'm just gonna run at him with my double strike. And instantly kill him again. Absolutely beautiful. Now keep in mind my double strike does stack up my passive. This Lucian didn't know and he was like, okay, his ult is gonna run out. But my W also doesn't make my ult run out. And I have my double strike ready. So I have a damage which only good Yi players and like one tricks know. And that's why I end up um, making it work and killing him. And just abusing him not having the knowledge. You guys have because you watched the stream. Bro, calm down a little bit, what was that? The enemies, uh, oh, the gods were angry at me, it seems like. What was that? That looked, looked scary. He jumps to me like, my, still my dragon because it's jungle gap here in this position. Okay, I'm gonna take red buff now. Dragon is out of in condition. And we are four levels ahead of the enemy Volibear. This is Emerald Elo. You can do the exact same with my fundamental course, with my coaching, with my streams. Let's go. So chat. Guys, by the way, type 1 in chat if this is annoying with the finger. Type 2 in the chat if this is 1v9. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Now, Wukong is bot lane. So we try to push top lane and we also try to push top lane extremely fast. Because Wukong is the only problem, the only reason why we can lose. So we try to hard force. W in this push, probably gonna ward here. I will get my dust by box, so I'm not that scared. Hide again, hide again. Go back in. Get my Q back up, dance a little bit, Q. Boom! And as I told you guys, that was an easy 2v4 quarter kill. Oriana didn't even ult. I was still full HP. My dust plate proc was a little bit weird. But as you can see, the potential I have. Do you see how much power I have? How much power we have? The fucking Zenarius army can get a Zenarius load in the chat. Now, Wukong is the problem bot side. That's why we are forcing it. Look, we are, we are already on an inhibitor. Wukong is 8 squad. <laughs> Top lane. Look at this guy. Level 15. 8 1. Perfect CS, and we are getting top inhibitor. <laughs> yeah, that's how much you can. Con you, top end is dangerous. Yes, this, this Wukong is dangerous. Yes, Wukong counters us even. But because we are applying our knowledge, we can make it work nonetheless. Uh. All right, beautiful. It is top gap. 
But I will tell you something, guys. I will tell you something you want your opinion on it. You can look at this game and say, oh my god, that's unfair. You know what I tell you? It is Wukong his fault he lost it. It is Wukong his fault he lost this game. He could have done more winning this game. And I can guarantee if he does, if it was a Alois NL, if he knew the fundamentals of top lane perfectly, if he watched the Alois NL course, I can guarantee he would have won the game. Can I get a true or a copium in the chat, please? Okay, but it, we will still struggle a bit because he's playing against F King, Cedera's army. It's still gonna, probably gonna be hard. I wouldn't know. Yeah, I mean, these are one of. There are some games you're out to lose. I'm not sure as well. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna walk towards the looks here. Just cue her right away. Holy shit, my damage is actually crack I, I don't even want to go with i don't know why i go this build i want to go more to remind i think it's more it's better gonna queue the minions here you see wukong avoid wukong at all costs I'm just gonna push the minions here avoid wukong at all costs that's how we're gonna win the game avoid the enemy and only problem you see there's a fight we can't win it okay i just push mid lane then i'm not walking there I, I ignore this wukong i don't care i want to fight the Lucian. yeah that's what i want to fight look how he's getting kited wukong can't play the game as well I can Q here, that's fine. If Lu Lucian tries to defend us, I will still kill him. You see, Lucian even dies without me. Because Lucian has problems against Oriana, that's what I said earlier. I'm gonna push. I'm not gonna fight the Lucian. That's not how I'm gonna win the game. I'm gonna take Inim nonetheless here. And now I'll show you how to play Master Yi, guys. That's my Brock. What happened to my Dustman Brock? I could have minions out. Dance, 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 dance. Can I use my E here? Can I re-engage? Can I re-engage? Can I re-engage? Can I re-engage? Dear Lord Jesus, have mercy. Die on me! Okay, and now we just finish and GG, we won. And 100% win rate. I'm 100% sure as well you can do the same if you just look at what my clicks. Okay. What Wu can do better, I didn't look at his top lane situation that much, but I'm pretty sure there was. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he didn't play this game perfectly. And the only way how to really improve is to view the game exactly that way. If this Wukong is just gonna blame his team, there will be no learning process. If this Wukong is just gonna analyze what he did wrong, maybe he did a few misclicks, maybe he did not play the wave management perfectly, he would have been able to have so much control to just win the game i'm very sure of it like not maybe not win this game it could be that he automatically loses this game sure um but but, but what my point is is that he needs to focus on his mistakes in order to improve okay let's do it how much percentage of your skill we have to put into those emerald games in comparison to your challenger games 40 percent i would say 50%, 60%. I mean, I'm just focusing on explaining. Like, it's still it's still hard for me because I need to permanently explain every single thought I have. That's how you guys learn. I will struggle, so you guys learn. You still think Ragefit is better for everyone below Master? No. Yes. Uh, I think it's a more consistent build. You can pick... The reason why I said it is because Dustbed is a hard build. It's hard to play. You need to play very well with um, Dustbed to make it work. Um, and the next thing is, like, you need to, first of all, play Yi extremely well to make Dustbed work. That's why I say it's below Master, especially. And there are many games still where Rage is better. Master Yi? Wow! Game is lost. Bro, I ha literally have no words. Thanks a lot for 10 gifted as well. You have in total gifted 82 subs. Bro, and that is so insane. And if it's scenarios, game is lost. Brother, I really appreciate it. Crow OCE. Congratulations. Lumero. Joycules. Ventolinek. X Apel. Kulon. Uh, Chise. And if it's scenarios, game is lost. Trinace, Simonic, Sandvin, 
Congratulations to all of you guys, scenario salute. Congratulations on getting the sub gift. It's an honor to having Alex you guys here. Master E. And if it's, it's like scenarios. throwing money at a stripper. Joke, joke. I don't even know how to respond to this. <laughs> Go, but see. I don't even know how to respond to Alex, this. It's so Master mean. E. And if it's scenarios, game is lost. Ah. Uh, okay. Guys, stop Alex, it. Master That's what e. I mean, Ajitan. You and shouldn't have said it. You shouldn't have lost. said it. No, people... What the fuck? Sexy scripter, stripper. Whatever. No. Ga okay, stop it. Olympix Master E. And if it's scenarios, game is lost. Okay, in this game we take Flash. Why do you guys think I take Flash in this game? Think through in your head right now. And now I'm gonna also explain Olympics. why I do so. Master E. First, pause it now. And if it's think, scenarios, why do I take Flash in this exact game? To answer this, the reason why I take Flash is because Charvin has ult. I can't ghost and run out of that. Leona has point and, and click CC. Master Movement e. speed will not help me there. She and will not throw E at me. She lost. will flash Q at me. Orianna, I can't really kite Orianna. No matter how fast I am, I can't kite an Orianna. Samira will only engage with the do and raw damage. Master and with e. my flash, on the other hand, and if it's I can flash out of Charven. I can one shot Charven. I can one shot Orianna in some situations. She can't permanently kite me because she needs to respect my ult and uh, my flash. And in rare situations as well, I can flash away from Leona Samira. So it's just better in comparison. I think that makes all sense, right? I mean, Charvin ult is not the main thing, but it's also a massive thing. Good luck and have fun. Good luck, have fun, guys. Okay, this is. Uh, if they only knew, the enemies are clueless. Okay. Guys, do you want me to go rage play this game? Because I also recommend rage play more often. I wanted to chat if you want this to be a rage play angle. I'm fine with both. If you want dust plate or rage plate, no matter if I snowball or not, so you also see how to play with rage plate. Guten Abend, Trustmaster. Schön dich zu sehen. Rage plate. Okay, let's go rage plate then one game. No leash. No leash. Now, sometimes I do start blue, sometimes I start chicken, sometimes I start wolves. But again, if you're below master, always start a red buff. And since this is an unranked to master series, I'm also starting red buff every single game. So you know exactly what to do. Okay. Take this here a little bit. Now look at the trick I do with the small crack. You can do that with every single jungler. Did you see how the small crack was dancing around the big uh, big crack like a scripper? Uh, ha! You see how the small crack was dancing around the big crack like a stripper in game. Basically, you are out playing the small crack with your movement to make. Him think you walk the other way, even though you're not, and then you are, have a way more healthy clear. I would recommend, especially with like Charvin, I would recommend to do it. I need to use my E, otherwise I would reset. And because I use my E now, I'm gonna W now. Because I won't have my E anyways for my auto attack Q. You would double strike, absolutely beautiful. See Charvin mid lane, okay. Can we counter gank? Do we need to? No, we don't. We see Charvin has 12 camps and has blue buff. So we know he did his entire bot side. So we 100% know Charvin is on chickens and going towards red buff now. So that means, what does that mean guys? Think. Not only think for, think for your particular elo what that means. For challenge for example that means that we consistently get double scuttle now. Unless, yeah, we consistently get double scuttle because if Charvin skips his crux, he will be level 3 still. I'm gonna stay here in this edge. W. If he comes, I will fight him. If he doesn't come, I will be going for scuttle. 
Reset J for top. I'm just gonna communicate it. You see, my Mundo wants me to come, but I'm not doing so. I know what is best. He needs to reset. I can't. J for top. She wards? I can clear the ward. That's fine. That's a little bit of extra gold in the pocket. I'm gonna flash on her instantly. If she trolls like that, I'm just gonna use it. Because I have red buff, I have my slow. If I trade flashes, it's worth it. If she goes low HP, it's also worth it. Enemy bot then is miss. It's also very dangerous right now. I think the enemy bot then reset. I don't think they go for scuttle. Because it's not challenger, I don't think they fight this. I'm just gonna reset here. So if she instantly flashed, it would have been the only way she survived. And then we just trade the flash, and that's absolutely fine. I 100% was sure Charvin wasn't there, because he had to be on his crux. And now, J4 is now bot side. You can push, Mundo. I'm gonna ping it, because we now know that Charvin has to be on his grump. Because that would make no sense that he waits two minutes on top lane bush. So we can consider a bot lane counter gank and also danger ping that again. Because we know Charvin is most likely around here. I'm gonna go towards my chickens now. Okay. This is a little bit too loud. The music is loud? No, it's fine. Okay. We're just gonna take our camps. Rihanna's no flash. Maybe Brand gets in a catch. Poorly done from both of them. Then we see Charvin exactly like we knew. We knew every single step Charvin does. His chickens are about to spawn in around 35 seconds. We know that as well. It's very simple jungle tracking. We know also that his chickens are about to respawn. We even know where he's about to go. Right now he is maybe even getting bot lane from there. Or he goes to his chickens. If he gangs bot, then I will be taking his camps. I also stop top lane if I wanted to. Also level 6. Yeah, this looks very good to gank. I think Yon wants to hard fight. I was gonna walk up towards Yon. I think he's gonna... Yeah, that could be good. I'm gonna tank this. With my double strike ready. Okay, that's, that's fine. He could have killed me if he played that a bit better. I think my engage was way too aggressive. I killed like killer, but I, I, had, I had too much gold in the pocket. I should have just reset it. Now that we ended up killing him is extremely worth it, of course, yeah. And now we know Charvin is topside. So throughout the entire game, we knew where Charvin is just because he troll ganked mid lane level 3. What do we learn if you are Charvin? Don't troll gank level 3. Only gank level 3 mid lane if you're very, very sure of the kill. Otherwise, you waste way too much time. You should be full carrying. You see, I'm very ahead of the Charvin, even though he did no mistake besides ganking early. And a challenger player can punish it way too hard. Can we gank mid lane maybe? Use my control here in this bush. Oh, she, she has no E. That was too late. Want to kill Charvin here? If she engaged, Charvin would just die. I'm a little bit confused. I don't have flash, I thought I have flash. That was so extremely free soon when I was playing the game. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had flash and then I died there. I that was my bad as well. <laughs> that was so free! If Sundra stopped Jory or Charvin, we hard win it. But that was after she didn't miss her E and, and Charvin flashed on. I should I should have just walked away. That's fine. Now as you can see again, I'm not putting my control in the Pixel, putting my control word here. It's more valuable here. Pixel is being checked way too often. I'm just gonna reset here. You think that in season 14 he could be playable in lanes? Uh, no. I think he would still have the exact same problems he has right now, that he's way too vulnerable to ganks. Okay, right now I think it's... like You have two options. You can just full kill into Herald and you can take Dragon after chickens. Both is completely fine. What do you think is better? What do you think is better? You can always pause and think through. We see Charvin bot side, so we can consider also a counter gang. Okay, they died. A double flash. No, we had one flash. And probably should clear my top side camps. 
Hmm. We get a lot though if we if we get a good counter gank off here. I'm gonna walk for, towards him. An attack. I mean, I knew that Charm had no E, but it's very easy for me to make that work, you know? And we also, I think I'm gonna take uh, not more than that. I'm just gonna start dragging maybe now. Is Charvin fast enough to stop me? It's also the next question. Like, the only reason I can hard engage like that is because I know Charvin has no ult and no E. And I just insta punish that. If we didn't use any of those, I would have just walked away and take my top side. I want to also reset, but I need to respect Charvin. I'm gonna consider. I'm just gonna take the control word here. Help Brand if possible. Yeah, we got Oriana Flash. I'm just gonna walk towards. As we got a lot, I'm just gonna reset here on the spot. Will the minion stop me? It doesn't seem like it. I have almost 3k gold. The game. This is a wonderful game. I'm gonna show you how to play from behind. There's a lot to learn here. I hope you already learned a lot here. If I was not ganking bot lane, if I was going for my top side camps and herald, that would have been fine, by the way. I got a great outcome, but it would have been fine nonetheless. I'm gonna go towards herald instantly. I want to stop Yon. I need to play a little bit more aggressive. I can't just consistently clear my camps. You see, I need to play a little bit more aggressive. I'm just gonna try to annoy the Charven. Wait until he uses his EQ before I use my Q. The thing is, why is it so easy for me to use my, my cues like that? Why? How can I do that? I will tell you. I don't... I focus at one thing only. I don't even focus at his E. I don't focus at his W. I don't focus at his O. His flash, his movement, his attacks. If he smites Herod, I don't focus at any of those. I only focus at his character movement on his Q. And on that, I will react. Because even if he E's and O's and does anything differently, the moment he cues, I need to cue. And now I'm in a wonderful position, kiting towards bot side. I Okay, again. Um, Dustblade would be better now because I'm in a snowball position I need to carry. Guys, you can decide again. Do you want me to go rage bait now or not? Will this be a rage bait angle or Dustblade one? You guys can decide. Either way, I will do it very educational, as always. I bet I can get mid lane. Doriana has no flash. It's low HP. Looks like a very consistent gank. That's why I literally just walk up to her and just press my Q. Enemy rampage. Uh, you want Duskblade? I mean, Duskblade, the reason why I ask again, even though we already decided early on Rageblade, is because this is such a nice Duskblade game now. I'm so fat. And it could be so fun to play that. Look at how much gold I got. I'm gonna go for full tower. We see four people on the map. Why do we see four on the map? One, two, three. Oriana 4. Jarvan can't fight me. Look at him. Look at him fighting me. Yeah, Demacia. Demacia, my ass. Another one? Yeah, old, yeah, old us. Yeah, GG. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, I, I have Rage Bad, uh, Dust Bad on my reset here. We need to get first Blood Tower. I can push further. We still see all people on the map. Just gonna push further. What is Charvin gonna do? Yeah, Demacia me again. Hilarious. Okay, I need to kill the minions. Do not take Tower. Okay, gonna kill him. Legendary. Lose my mind. Even though it hurts, you can do the same. Okay, we have one more vote, guys. One more vote. Now is the side. I have 3,500 gold. Type it again. Dusk Blade or Rage Blade. You will be the deciding tool. I will be the teacher. Help me on the way to greatness. I won't want you to buy Rage Blade, but Dusk Blade will learn a lot as well. Rage, Rage, Rage. Dusk, 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 Dusk. Rage, Rage! Rage! Okay, we go Rage Blade. We, we, I said it too many times. The thing is, I, I, we did agree earlier on Rage Bait already. So, uh, we have so many Rage Bait. So, I'm just gonna go Rage Bait. Uh, I mean, it's, it's mainly should be educational, not fun. And if it's... Cool, thanks a lot for the time. Well. I appreciate it. 
It mainly should be very educational. Now we're just gonna play it with Rage Band. I mean, it doesn't matter. It is exactly the same. Dust Band is just a little bit more fun and a little bit better if you're hard snowboarding. Okay, what do we? how do we win the game now, guys? Think through. The enemies are very ahead. We need to find good catches. I'm extremely strong. If with my patience, you see there, there could be a ward. You see, I'm standing behind here. I want him to play very aggressive. Enemies are also hard forcing, you see? They're hard forcing. Why are they hard forcing? Okay, Zamira told as well. I can just walk up on her. Need to be careful about uh, Starven. Yeah, I knew he was there as well, the way he played. Need to be a little bit careful. You know, he's flash. That doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna chase him down. I do not want to trade my flash for that. But if he does play like that, I'm just gonna do that. Maybe I can kill Oriana here as well. Push further, we probably get the planning I'm gonna run through. I still have ult for eternity. Keep in mind, every reset gives you a longer ult. So Oriana doesn't expect me to be that fast with my ult. And now even though she ults me, it doesn't really matter. Zundra walked the wrong way, so... I'm just gonna try to cut her off. Maybe I should go for Dragon. Yeah, it's probably better. Zundra walked just the wrong way. If she walked the other way, we could have cut her, cut her off. Okay, now I need to be careful. Now I need to be very careful, guys. Because I'm low HP, I don't have ult, I don't have flash. Enemies want to fight the dragon most likely. I'm just gonna W. Okay, can I take, can we go bot dragon? Will I fight dragon or not? I need to play it very careful. Okay, we have a lot of vision. I'm just gonna start it for now. Yeah, I'm just completely griefing it. I thought I can get it in time and then just queue the scuttle and get out. I, in my in my illusion. I'm in my illusion. I saw Charvin topside, so I wasn't scared. I'm in a complete illusion. Oh, and she shouldn't be pathing that way. But we get the shutdown. Yeah, that's fine. We take it. At least we got the dragon. It's not even that bad. It's not even that bad. Like, it's terrible. And and uh, Samira got shot on. That's uh, the only mistake I did this game so far, which I'm like, okay, that was it's just cringe. But it's fine. We are human after all. I thought I can get the dragon a little bit faster. I could have, if I instantly went to dragon, the dragon would have been easy. So, was just my fault to not go for that. Okay, now, next kill. I'm just gonna run towards him. Use my Q. That's a very consistent kill. I'm gonna push the next wave and then probably just take my top side camps. Hell is about to spawn. We need to win the game. And I am the win condition. Enemies are still ahead, so it's a very rough one. Everyone on my team is hard griefing. It's a rough one. I'm gonna take my camps. I need to be extremely fast in winning those. It'll be extremely fast in making that win. I'm gonna take this one. We see two we see three people on the map. Mira wants to fight this probably. I need to just respect it fully. I need to respect it fully. I can't be fighting that. Want Vayne to come, but I most likely can't be fighting that. Yeah, we'll kill the Herald, and I would want them to get, get out. Got the Herald. We got what we wanted. Gonna go this way. I want to use my Herald top lane, if possible. Gonna walk this way. I don't have ult. I don't have flash. I need to play very safe, very slow. Yeah. I'm gonna take the minions. I need to play very slow. Oh, what the fuck? You don't play it extremely slow. But that was not slow. Um, okay, that, that was just a mechanic the way I played it. I The only way I survive it if I kill Zamira before she kills me. So you do instantly auto attack, W auto attack. What we learn, I should have not played that aggressively. I, sh I, I, I agree that was my fault. I played a little bit too aggressive. I should have gotten Herald probably and to just get out. Or we can also give Herald and not go for that play at all. And just take jungle camps. We are very fine. <coughs> Super slow. <laughs> Man, I'm so sad. I, like, I'm just... <sighs> I have this, like, it's crazy. My habits of playing Master Yi is so in my blood already, that even though I talk differently, I will play differently. I will just start kiting. I can use my ult here, that's fine. Q that. Dodge everything. Nothing they can do about it. Just gonna walk towards Samira. Don't focus Oriana. So okay, now we can focus Oriana. Just use Q to uh, go to Oriana. I guess you can see I kill one target after the other. I don't instantly start focusing the... I don't need to start focusing Samira and Ori. I start focusing Leona and Charven. Because that's where I get my resets from. My little tempo stacks. My um, damage from. 
How much gold do we get from the inhibitor now? As free. 50. I don't think we can end, but we just gonna take off. Wait, I have 5,000 gold! I mean, it happens. This is getting pretty quickly. Four levels ahead. Okay, where's my music? Let us begin. What do we buy, Chad? What do you think? What is smart now to buy? Can you try Hydra, please? No, I'm not trying that. It's not, it's not as good as the other items. Um, in this game, I need a lot of survivability. GA is terrible now. This is a good, it gives good advice as well. Okay. Kraken is good. Okay. That's, that's wonderful. GA is bad now. Because if I die in any fight, if, I, if Samira kills me before I kill her, and I'm as my GA prox, I will die right when I spawn back. Because I don't have anyone on my team who's strong. Look, I'm the only existence of strength. So if I die on GA, I'll, we will lose the game. If Vayne was 10-0, I can buy GA because if I die, at least Vayne will kill all of them. I will send you the playlist, one second. Here, there we go. An ally has been slain. Okay, so GA is terrible. I need survivability. So you can go death sense, that is completely fine. And you can go raw damage, like for example, with sense. Now, I wait in base, which is terrible, but I'm gonna give the enemies a chance. Why? Because in the end, we are still very educational. I give you guys the chance to learn. You would struggle maybe a little bit more than I struggle right now as well. Death sense is good, yes, guys, because raw damage, raw damage, and I need a little bit more damage as well. So, because I need to kill the enemies quicker than they kill me. And I'm extremely strong now, and I should be able to kill everyone. And with death sense, it gives me a little bit of damage. I should have no problem in winning this game. And now we go back towards Baron. They could be on Baron right now. We don't know. But with Destins, I can play... Oh, you can see Yon already. I'm gonna push this wave. If they're on Baron, we give it. Nothing we can do about it. I saw her using Q4, so that's inting. Complete garbage inting. Trash. So, okay. Zamino flashed over this one, so I can just play very aggressively here. Use enemies doing mistakes, guys. You can do it. Oriana used her Q, so I have a short period of time, like 0.25 seconds to one-shot her. And I instantly used it. I don't even need to go for Baron here. I can just hard force with all the pressure I have. Wait until they go forward. Respect. Play slow. Stack. Go, go on Zamiya first. Oh, this is gonna be Ortic. Q. Oh, this is gonna be Ortic. 100 to 0. She's extremely fed with distance. Doesn't matter. Because we are the Zanaris army. That's rage based damage, ladies and gentlemen. But. You didn't have the dust web proc, which would have given you also some survivability mechanics. Wonderful. Okay. I'm gonna give you a good tip now, guys. Don't first pick Master Yi. Wait, is it a low is no? Don't first pick Master Yi. But I do first pick Master Yi now just to showcase how hard it can be. So as you can see, the entire team I have will most likely be built around Master Yi. Which is usually fine, but the problem behind that is that enemy team can now build a team come against Yi. And when I'm not the win condition anymore, and my team picks around me as a win condition, then we hard struggle. Because Rakan and Riven are both pretty decent against Yi already. Now if they pick two more champions like Wukong and Lissandra, I will have a massive problem. And Jenna is also Yusuf because I'm not really a champion. That's why I'd always consider picking Yi as third or fourth champion and not as first. Second is also very interesting, but I just personally dislike doing that. Okay... I bought the course yesterday. Sounds amazing. I hope I'm going to help you a lot with that. This is the best I have to offer for you. Hope I can help you a lot with that. I'm going to I'm going to give you the playlist.
As you can see, the enemies picked no- As I said, Lysandra. And now we have Lysandra. And that's only because I first picked E. If I was a little bit more relaxed, they probably wouldn't have picked that. And then I would have been in a way better position. What about top lane? Is Garen good champ to carry? Yes, 100%. But I'm gonna ask you, why are you not asking Eloise and Al that? He is the absolute real gold. Garen is a wonderful champion to play, and he also made an unranked to master series with him. Riven one taps you? No, she doesn't one tap me. The problem about Riven is that you really struggle in engaging into her. You really struggle in finding good engage options against, against Riven. Um, because she always has her W. You see, this is probably the last Emerald game. After that, we are already in Diamond. Because Riven usually has her W. And um, with her third Q and her W and her E, you cannot really get to her. She will never use her abilities to just... Um, attack you very slowly. The moment you use anything to engage in her, she will be able to use her chain combo to burst you down. Mm -mm. Avoda, that comes within time. You just need to play other champions. So if you struggle by because you only know how to play Yi, you just need to play more champions, especially on other accounts, and within time you will be in a very fine position. Mm -mm. Like, I can guarantee that you will be fine in the future. You just need to calm down a bit, accept that your Yi is better than other champions, and within time, that will even it out. Okay. Hmm. Is the mic having robotic sound sometimes? Do you guys hear anything bad with the microphone? Or is it good? Okay. Uh, I'll pause the music for now so I can focus on explaining. It's a little bit distracting. Okay, can Nocturne one-shot me? Nocturne cannot one-shot me, no. Nocturne... Um has decent damage but it's not enough to one shot me if he goes the lethality build or like generally a very assassinate one shot a nocturne build then i will be one shotting him as well and then it's just important that you understand that you need to be the one one shotting him before he can actually one shot you and you will be in a wonderful position Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, change a little bit of the microphone. Now I hope it's better. Change a little bit. I don't want leash. No leash, please. Okay, I'm gonna explain everything in this game. Not only macro-wise, but also mechanically. So all you have to do is focus and listen. Start wrap up as always. Said it many, many times. We have Lissandra versus Velcott's mid lane. That is a pretty fine one. We can think of mid lane ganks if Velcott manages to poke Lissandra. One of his strengths will be the poking. On bot lane, it just depends on the way or on the lane how it goes. If we get prior, we can do nothing. If the enemies get prior, we might fight some sneaky gank options. Top lane is also very interesting to gank. Don't have the perfect setup. But Poppy hard count is Riven, so that's already very good for us. So maybe we will put Poppy at a strong side here. I'm just gonna Q here. Doesn't look too optimal. Could be losing that trade. 
got a flash, we got a flash trait. Not sure if Riven Flash as well. Riven Flash as well. Okay, wonderful. Okay, Ash does track me. I should have started W here because Locto could invade me. Now look where I'm going. I'm going exactly on the edge here because if a Nocturne invades me, I would always be seeing it. Now I take the plant. If Nocturne invades me, I would be always fine here. Now I go to Grump and then I smite Grump. I lose a little bit of time. But the time I lose is absolutely worth it. This is what you should be doing if you're really scared of invades. Not gonna smite it. I don't see Nocturne. I'm not scared. And I'm gonna start attacking the blue buff. Considering a top lane gank. Very slow. Could smite this and insta gank if I wanted to. Riven wants to deep push this, but she kind of struggles. You can consider a gank. I'm gonna walk up. Just auto attack. Don't use E yet. I'm gonna use my E. Z can be very easy. One poppy to reset. Waves looks good. Sandra, eat forward. Still don't know where Nocturne is. Gonna eat this and clear this. I'm just gonna insta reset on the spot. I assume Nocturne is bot scuttle. I'm just gonna type care Nocturne is bot lane. Because I do want my team to be careful right now in this particular situation. I should have. Yeah, I'm gonna want. I did the perfect reset. Big X is the best you want to have early on. And if possible, boots. But you want to have boots and attack damage. Attack speed is the. In all of these things, least important. You don't want to buy daggers that early on. Like, you can if you have attack damage. Like, now with pickaxe, I can buy attack speed. But you don't want to buy, for example, berserkers and attack speed boots. Yeah, berserkers and attacks and daggers with that. It's usually pretty bad. I'm gonna kite towards chickens now. But that looks very fine. Why insta reset? Because there's nothing more I can do. I got so much gold on the... On the I got I had so much gold in my pocket. There was no mid lane gank option. And the enemy Lissandra knew for sure I was on scuttle. So the chance I get a good outcome is extremely low. Chance I get my camps here on the other hand is extremely high. So even though... Li okay, um, let's see if we can gank her. Don't see a gank right now. Even though my mid lane pings. I will consider a gank. Because Lissandra is low on mana. Mm hmm. See what happens. Doesn't seem too nice. Want to go bot lane dragon if possible. You see, if I gank mid lane, there was nothing I could have done. Nocturne is bot side. Not bot side. Because we we didn't see Nocturne the entire game. But we assume he's bot side. Because he you should start top side as well for um Crux chickens. Spawning the earliest. I'm gonna sweep by here. Riven has a ward. But it doesn't really matter. One poppy to push. If Nocturne comes, I win that. Good straight, good straight. If he comes close, I will Q. I will not kill her. I will not kill her. But I will trade on some HP. Even if Nocturne here, we dive this now. And if she resets, she will lose the entire wave. She doesn't have TP. So she needs to stay. I will tank. Dodge this. And you see, it's very easy to get the kill. We still assume Nocturne is bot side. I'm gonna take one more plating. We have a huge minion wave, so we can take one more plating. We assume Nocturne is bot side. We try to communicate that. W reset. Then reset. He did dragon. And also gets bot scuttle, but that's fine. You see how much Riven is losing. Riven gets extremely blocked here. She lost an insane amount of waves, and she had no TP. She keeps losing minions. She's around here probably right now. He's on the way. But she loses so much minions. And as well, the wave will push towards us now. It's insane how much the yes, Riven is losing here. I'm gonna go Crux now into red buff. And then I consider a mid lane play. And a bot lane play. Really depends what it's about to happen. And again, this is Emerald. But all, there are already diamond people here. So I'm getting... Probably after this game, I will have a full diamond game. Okay, Nocturne was here. Rap of walked. My, my, 
Yeah, that doesn't look good. I need to play it very slow. Just gonna stack up my double strike. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful. I always love it when my team is starting to flame me. Because it just... Because I... First of all, I don't care at all if I get flamed. Because I just try my best. And it really shows that no matter how good you are, what I did, everything I did so far in this game, was perfect. Not a single call, mechanic or macro decision I did, would have been better. Not a single call. Nothing. And I still get... Jungle gap, you are not looking mid even once. So as you can see guys, I am a ra former rank 1 player and it will always be the same. So what we can all learn that the toxicity will never change. All that can change is your mindset towards the toxicity. You consider a top lane play? I think she will push this probably as well. Okay, she used her first Q, so I'm just gonna ult at her right now. Probably gonna W me, but that's not gonna help her survive it. I have my re run away with the Nocturne Fear. Keep in mind, if you know your champion well, you will also know the interactions. For example, I knew when Nocturne fears me, I will run in a straight line away. I can start Dragon here, because I, I have a the wave state that doesn't look too good for us. It's freezing right now, and it's good for Riven. The only good thing about this wave freezing here is that we can take Herald because we have top prior. Probably with Herald pushes this, and even if Inoctum wanted to fight this, we would have a Poppy who can move faster than a Riven, which gives us a lot. Hello, Xian. Greetings. Very nice to see you. <clears throat> Gonna smite the blue buff. You usually do not want to have two smites up here. I think Vekos will die again. Hmm, absolutely beautiful. We are 20 CS up. We are almost two levels ahead. We are exactly what we need to do. We are getting close to Blade of the Rune King. Vekos doesn't have TP. I can try to be a little bit annoying here. If she goes away, I will freeze this for Velikots while waiting for my item. I will gain an insane amount of value here. Denying her this yes while giving it to Velikots. I'm not taking it myself right now. There could be a Nocturne coming. If she comes any closer, I will be engaging on her. And I will get the kill here as well. Give this to Velikots. Don't share the XP. As a jungler, you don't get that much XP. As a laner does. So if possible, you wanted to give to your laner. The reason why I can kill Lissandra that easily is simply because she does not have... Lissandra doesn't have her E and she doesn't have W. And we can also assume that she used ult after the engage mid lane. Alright, beautiful. Scenario salute, guys. Okay, let's see if I can do something bot lane. I don't have flash, I don't have ult, so I do not want to gank bot lane. I'll be taking Crux first. And then see what's about to happen. We let our team type so much. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna walk up here. We can put our control ward. It's ward. It doesn't matter. I don't have ult. I don't want to hard force. I just want to pressure. You see, I don't need to kill them. The pressure alone is all we need. Nocturne can't kill me. Walking mid lane now. Does seem to survive it as well. I'm on my way. I want to engage on, on Lissandra if possible. Probably not gonna make it. I'm just gonna queue the minions here to get out. And I'm gonna walk towards Dragon. I also want to fight the Nocturne. I am stronger than him. I'm just gonna go back, even though I cannot do much here. Most likely. I don't know if he has ult or not. I need to be careful. I don't know where Rakan is. I'm just gonna respect it. Yeah, Rakan is also here. I need to fully respect it. Need to play it extremely slow. We might even lose Dragon from Velikos trolling here. We could have tried to communicate maybe, but that's about it. She wants to reset. I don't want her to reset. Riven is missing. We need to play it very smart now. We need to wait until Velikos is back. I don't want to give Dragon. I do have Herald as well. 
Okay, she got a reset off. I'm just gonna use my Herald. Did it TP? That's all fine. Ash ult hit. We don't have Rakan ulted. I need to focus Ash if possible or disengage. Uh, there are two options I have. Three. Focusing Ash wouldn't be enough and because there are scenarios? four people. Game is lost. Most likely I have to give up my entire jungle as well. You see, you can see, this is a perfect example. You can clearly see how hard I'm struggling even though I'm so far ahead. Because every single one of my team making this game hard. But it's a good example to show what to do when your team is actually not playing that well. When you are getting a disadvantage because of it. Arad, thanks for the Prime, I appreciate it. Have a wonderful stay. So as you can see, they're not on Dragon, very interesting. When Vekos died again, this is a great example to show you how to win. And these kind of, let's say, hard situations. Okay, my Q bounces on Lissandra, so she can't reset. She also doesn't have TP. See, Nocturne is on Dragon. I also want to stop the Dragon, but I don't think I will be in time. Ash is also, if, if Vayne comes as, as correctly here, we will hard win that fight. I'm just gonna Q Rakan here. Will I get my Q back up? I will follow up with my Q. Can we kill the Ash here as well? Probably not. I'm probably just gonna reset here and accept that I can't do that much. If she does walk up like that, I will just take the kill here. All first. Auto attack, auto attack, and thank you. W reset. Very simple, guys. You can do the same. I'm just following the general scenarios rules. Nice. We are 7 0. 130 CS. 30 CS up. We could take the first blood tower here, bot lane. Would have been way smarter. Guys, do you want to see Rage Blade or Dusk Blade? Type it now in the chat. Let's do it. Got first blood tower. Could buy Rage Blade now, right now. I could also buy Dusk Blade if I sell this. <sighs> okay, we have more Dust Blades. I'm gonna take Dust Blade now, but later today I will also take Rage Blade. Because I want you guys to learn how to play with both. Next item will be Mortal Reminder. They do have some shields, they do have some heals. And the main reason I go Mortal Reminder, always keep that in mind if I do so, is the armor penetration. I want to be able to kill enemies with that. Now as you can see, enemies got both dragons, two dragons. They're winning on every single lane. And what I do is play very consistent, calming down, breathing, focusing on what I need to do, what is the smartest. Isandra is dead, that gives us a small pressure. Rakan is resetting, so I can start it. Herald now. Very simple decision making. What are we gonna do after Herald? Always think as well. Why not Lord Dominix? Lord Dominix is also completely fine. You do want to just go more to reminder against shields and heals. Lord Dominix in this game, um, the reason why I want to go more to reminder is because of Rakan and Riven. But in this game, probably more to remind uh, Lord Dominix is even a bit better. Just a, it's just more damage. I'm just gonna Q her or take W. Don't even need it. I want to get top tower now as well. We see Lissandra top lane, so I can. I want to get his old off if possible. I want him to push. I don't need to use my Herald. I could use Herald to go for T2 top lane. Nice. We see them too. Lissandra still mid lane. We see Nocturne bot lane. And now we'll be using my Herald. Right after my auto attack. So I also use my Herald to auto attack reset. We got a lot already out of this. Oh, that was a misclick. Nice, we get the full tower here. We could even push further. See, two people still here. Not scared of Riven. Does engage hardcore. Got the resets off. Rakan is no old anymore. I died in my alpha for some reason. Wait, what that happened? Renekton really did have red. Smite Stripe Breaker? Ignite? What killed me? His E. His E went through my Q. That's how I died. His E went through my Q. Yeah, we're gonna go to Dominix. It's a bit better than um, Mod Reminder. Both items would be completely fine. 
Okay, what I could have done is just not push for the third tower. The third tower generally is pretty useless. I should have taken the set T2. We all learn from that. Then reset. Get into position again. Take my Crux, take red buff. And then probably play for T2 bot lane. And as you can see, everybody of my team is hard griefing. But we're still gonna make it work. Fundamentals will be carrying us. My team is not even that terrible, you know. They just had a rough time. They lost their lane. Every single lane lost. Besides Poppy. But we're still gonna make it work. Keep in mind if I made just a little bit different decisions early on. If I ganked mid lane, for example, when I shouldn't, I would be losing this game right now. I'm not gonna clear the control word here. I'm gonna kill Lissandra first. Okay, got the dust by proc here. I want, the, I want him to push the wave for I'll consider top lane jungle. Auction is dead, so I could take all of this. We get a lot from that. I'm now one level ahead of this Nocturne. I'm just gonna take this one as well. I'd love to play for Drake. Is Isandra spawning in 15 seconds? Need to be aware of that. It's gonna walk towards Dragon now. And Nocturne ult. Focus Nocturne. I got Ash ulter, but that's fine. Attack Dragon for my reset. Okay. I was done pretty pretty long. Gonna finish this. I have my smite as well. Gonna take all these wards. I'm gonna take chickens. I'm in a wonderful position already. I am in a wonderful position. I'm gonna take top side camps as well now. We already have Lord Dominic, so it's better to reset. Having the third item finished is another very important thing I would recommend you to do. You need to play for your personal strengths. Because every time you buy a fresh item, get a certain level, for example level 6 of Master Yi, you get a small spike and you need to play for that sp these spikes as well. Now, Nocturne still has two armors, uh, slaughter, cl cloth armors. I got my third item finished. So I have a huge spike right now, and this spike I could use. Let's see what Riven is about to do. Maybe we can just catch a kill here. See what she's about to do. Is she gonna push this or not? Okay, I'm gonna walk towards Scuttle. See Rakan. I need to have respect for Rakan. Rakan and Lissandra can kill me very easily. I'm just gonna take top lane CS now. I'm also at 10 CS per minute. I'm in a wonderful position. Okay, Nocturne altered. Need to be careful of that. I'm just gonna push next wave because I don't see anything yet. See a mid lane. That's very unoptimal. I can't really help that much. Rakan altered. Nocturne altered. Rakan altered. Drag down everything. Very nice. Do I need to push? Can we go dragon? Can we go dragon after this? Doesn't seem like we can go dragon. A uh, baron, I mean. It's still a bit risky to go baron. Because we don't have that much damage. My build isn't that much Baron damage. I'm just gonna go T3 and then I'm gonna take this one. T3 gives me more gold now as well. There's a lot of gold. With Vayne, uh, maybe we could have easily gotten Baron, I think. I think it was a bad decision for me to go for this... Um, to go for this tower. Now, do we go for Dragon on this? We see Riven bot lane and Riven has no TP. Look at the summoners. Lissandra could TP. Nocturne could ult. Nocturne has no vision. Be a little bit careful. I'm not gonna use my Q anymore. I want to turn on the enemies if possible. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna focus Rakan. Get my dust by proc here. Finish Baron now. No matter where he engages, I will be covering that. Very, very slow. I'm not gonna go for blue buff. Doable. Let's go. Reset. Put my control somewhere. Doesn't really matter. I want to have another item slot. And now you have options. You can go... I personally like to go Kraken then. Because since I don't have any attack speed now, the extra attack speed that is missing is giving me a lot. I want to go bot lane. Do you know, guys, why I don't want to go group for a team fight now? Think in your head, why could that be the case? 
and I'm gonna explain in a second. <clears throat> the reason why I don't want them to, why I don't want to group is because I'm scared the enemies will get a team fight. Lissandra, Rakan will kill me in a team fight, but on every side then I will always be winning that. Hey, bros, you can check your Twitch DMs if you have the chance. I, I can do after the stream if you want to, helicopter. Okay, I'm just gonna chill here. I don't want them to go here. I want them to go mid lane. Maybe I find an engage. My, my top lane died as well. Isn't optimal. What the only thing we can do now is try to communicate as good as possible. There's a lot of communication we can do. We can wait until Poppy is getting ready. I wait for the next wave now. There's nothing I can do. I wait for Dragon next wave. Wait for mid lane prior. Wait for top lane. I do want the vehicles to go away. All I can do is communicate as good as possible. Okay, because Poppy died, we have a problem. I don't have any vision, so I need to back up here. Everything is fine. We're in a wonderful position. We're in a wonderful position. I can't go for this wave now because I don't see anyone on the map. Nocturne, neither. He's also scared I'm somewhere here. I'm just gonna take Crux now. I'm just gonna take Crux now. Very slow, very simple. Wait for Dragon to spawn. I'm gonna take bot lane wave to get some prior while Poppy takes mid lane prior. I want to make sure that Nocturne is not engaging on my mid lane. I don't think Lissandra will cheese me here, but I still need to be careful. I want to reset for Kraken too, but I cannot. I need to walk all the way and out around onto my team. Okay, Nocturne ulted, Rakan ulted. I wait here with my W. I can't engage, I can't engage. Need to be patient. I need to be patient. If I engage randomly, I will die. Now I see the enemies. Now I get my dust proc consistently off. Oh, never mind. She has ult her still. He still has ult for some reason. That was my bad. I should not have engaged at all. She W'd and ulted perfectly. The only way. And with the bush, I didn't get vision. And because of that, I couldn't kill her. What I should have done is... Let me think. When she engaged, she not instantly used my ult. I needed to wait a little bit. I needed to wait a little bit. And then I would have been in a very fine position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or maybe just ignore Lissandra completely. I mean, if she didn't have ult, it would have been probably a quarter kill for me. Like the the line for Yi to get a quarter kill and to die instantly is so small. Like it, it gets, it's a very, very instant. One ability will change everything instantly. So the call was perfect if Lissandra ulted. And because the enemy is hard engaged, I assumed that Lissandra used ult. I didn't see it because of Nocturne ult. But I shouldn't have assumed that. I should have probably waited or engaged somewhere else. Hmm. Taking her was also fine. She didn't have vision on me. It's debatable. I think it's debatable. I think I just can't. If I don't see the ult, I need, still need to respect it. I think that's what I should have done. Because so far we did play the game very well. We are 10 CS per minute. We are in a wonderful position. We're level 16. We did everything we could do. Only thing we could do better is to communicate better with my team. Okay. You can also try to go now with my team and wait until we engaged. If I group, I just need to be careful that I don't be the first one to engage or get engaged. But as I said before, and as I still say, best would be to split. A hard win against. Okay, that looks good. The Rivenous bot lane, no ignite. I'm just gonna walk towards. Rakan dead. We see Nocturne ult, Ash dead. Okay, that's wonderful. We can push further. I want to I want to ba get Riven to reset. She probably resets already. She doesn't want to end. Does Isandra have stopwatch? No, Nocturne has stopwatch. You need to be careful of that. Riven takes the wave. We have one minion. That's not enough. Very well done from Riven. We should have we should have uh, we should have thought about it. It was pretty obvious that she's gonna go for the war for the riv for the uh, minions. But we can try to catch her. We can try to catch her down. Team all wants to reset. It's not very optimal. Okay. To be careful that he doesn't doesn't jump again over the wall. We do see her. If we kill her bef now, we will get barren from that. So getting time here is extremely valuable. Try to go this way. I'm just gonna walk this way. It's gonna ult here right away, and then I want to play for Dra for Baron. Get Baron on spawn. Riven has no TP. Still dead for 15 seconds. 
I can I can also buy a stopwatch here. That's fine. GA is good here because the enemies have so much one-shot burst. Once that burst is down, they don't have burst enough to do it again. So we are in a wonderful position. I'm just gonna walk up here. We do no riven is that. Probably won't kill him. Maybe Vekots does. Can do Baron on spawn. If I, Q, I needed to be careful with the Q. Because if I Q early and then the enemies are behind covering and then engaging on us, we will all die. We try to finish the Baron now. Smite it. Walk away from the, my team. Okay. Need to be played slow. I did still get my resets on Rakan. Still get my Dust by Proc on Rakan. Dust by Proc, Dust by Proc. Auto attack reset. Q to knock on. Use my ult to get my old resets. And the Sandra's that as well. Absolutely like we needed to play. This is how you utilize Dustplay perfectly. Now we need to be careful of where Riven could be. Got a W again. We'll still have my ult up. Probably will not get more. We can consider taking bot lane T2, but I think I will double take double inhib. If she engaged, I'm just gonna dodge this one here. Use my perfect combo to kill her as well. We cannot end, but we can maybe take double inhib. Nocturne spawns in 80. Keep in mind, Rakan spawns right now. But the rest is still dead. I can double you here. Rest is still dead. Keep that in mind. So we have time to take this. Now we try to disengage. I still have Baron reset. So I'm just gonna reset right here on the spot. Ash will probably not insta arrow me. She actually does. Oh, that was the wrong galaxy. <sighs> This unit has increased ability power and mana region. And it deals increased true damage against champions and turrets. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're full bit now. Need to be careful they don't hard engage with me. I do have stopwatch. I'm not scared actually if they engage with me anymore. Gonna follow up that. I want them to engage on me now. I want to proc my GA. I want my team to fight this. They'll probably play that a little bit more slow. I think my, my Q on the Lissander was a little bit too aggressive. Even though I do want to make this fight work. Oh my god! Lissander almost planned to kill that. Nice, good general ult. Can we end with this? Should be able. We have Baron buff. We don't need to go for the dragon. It's sold for enemies. Doesn't do anything for us. I'm just gonna walk up here. Take the wave. Still have W, so I will always be full HP now. Top wave is coming. We should have probably taken top wave as well. I've rolled in 15. Good, well done from Velcots. Want to Q to pro. To get my dustbed on Ash, maybe. Nice, I got it. And now the Elixir goes crazy! GG! It's like the leg wanted it. Emerald, almost diamond. The enemies were already, some of them were already diamond. We learned a lot from this game. Now, my team flamed us, flamed us. We couldn't care less. We still try our absolute best. Let's go, chat. <laughs> Thanks to you yesterday, now 122, 110 against the Riot employee. Can I get a scenario salute in the chat? Let's go. <laughs> nice sir we are 100 win rate climbing to the absolute top every single game is a victory with knowing the fundamentals perfectly let's get it chat i'm gonna go right and next let's go we do it who do you usually ban and why do you ban them okay i'm gonna explain it one second listen listen <clears throat> okay. I am gonna ban the champion I hate the most. Belworth. Now, keep in mind, there are champions that are worse against Yi. But I'm gonna ban Belworth because Belworth is being picked extremely often. And you should be banning what you dislike the most and is being picked often. So you need to have, like, see, like a. I don't know, like, a, like a, in a very simple way popularity of the champion and how strong this champion is against you. And depending on where it is, you're just gonna ban it. That's simple. You can ban any champ. Uh, 
Let's get physical! Wie war Geburtstag gestern? Extrem nice. Sehr, 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 sehr chillig. Sehr, sehr chillig. Wieder mal ein bisschen entspannen. God, God. When are you gonna do with Alois? I watch him a lot because I'm a top laner, but I find it hard to carry in top lane. Had better games in jungle. I mean, you can do both roles, my brother. It depends on what you, what you set your goals with. If you want to reach a certain elo, then it's the best to focus on few champions and few roles, like one role only. But if you enjoy jungle as you enjoy top lane, you can have two different accounts as well. One jungle account, one top lane account. Whatever floats your boat, I would say. When I'm gonna do it with Alois, I think... Maybe start of next split I'm gonna do with Alois. Or if I do some other collaboration, or if we go to a different server. I will be doing with Alois. And I'm gonna be honest, I am more excited than you are even. I, I miss, I miss playing with my Alois. My boy Alois. Can you explain why you dislike Belvef? It feels for good for you. No. If the Belvef is a very good Belvef player, she is has. It's so easy for her to counter jungle me in correct ways. It's so easy for the Belvef to fuck me up. If the Belvef is bad, yes. But if the Belvef is good, she will always be up 10 to 20 CS, and there's nothing I can do when I dislike that. Okay, now I'm gonna become very educational. Music more quiet. I'm gonna put lo-fi music now. Uh, I dislike it, but then I can focus more on explaining everything. And now we're gonna go back to full educational content, guys. Let's do it. 100% if you don't win lane, I feel useless. Um, that is true. I would say every role has their pros and cons. I think that's very simple. I think you should end up deciding whatever you feel the most comfortable with. You can't get rid, rid, rid of all the weaknesses. You can just improve yourself. Okay. Guys, type one in the chat if you want rain music in the background like this to get educational content. You're really amazing. You're one of the most educational streamers and nicest one. And I'm so lucky that I made the same champ as you. Let's go, love duo. Let's go. That's, that's, that feels, feels heartwarming. Hey man, I've been thinking of making Yi my main to learn jungle with from Bronze. Since he is the champ I like the most since I was a kid. Do you think he's good to OTP at low elo? Yes, 100%. Probably one of the best champions to one trick in low elo. I would highly recommend. And Gauta, even if you don't want to invest money into my coaching and improving faster, now this journey is exactly what I recommend you to do. Rewatch the past VODs. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because there will be a lot of content like this now. This is the free coaching I'm offering. Playing from silver, gold... Platinum, Emerald, Diamond, Master. Now we are already Diamond Elo. Explaining every single thought process and showing you what you should be doing. Yo, I'm the Hackerim. Good luck, have fun. Okay, no, no ghosting, okay? No ghosting allowed. No ghosting allowed. But actually, I need to be careful because people will start ghosting me like crazy, no? It's gonna be pretty annoying. What do I do against that? Hmm. I just believe in the honor of people. Clueless! Okay. So in this game, Ghost and Flash are both viable. I like Ghost more because it's better against Corky, Darius, Hecarim and Zoraka. Because it's very easy for me to sidestep all these abilities. Against Varus, Flash is better because I can Flash over the Varus ult. And even with Ghost, it's hard to sidestep it. Okay, I'm gonna... If they invade, we already have good cover. I'm gonna reset here. Okay, and I might want to continuously cheese. 
Ja, hier ist ein Mobile nicht zu flash over the wall. Won't be able to kill him, but we got his flash, which is already a lot. I don't want to fight further on. I'm gonna wait in this bush and then gonna take my red buff. I don't need a leash. I mean, if they give a leash, I probably can't avoid getting a leash. But it's a little bit supportive now that I don't get cheesed again. It's a fun Everything is beautiful. He probably invade blue. I mean, if he's ghosting, he probably invades my blue, yes. If he's not ghosting, um, I don't think he... Like, it's a blue, hacker invading my blue buff is just a little bit inconsistent. I don't think he will be doing that. And even if he does, I don't lose much. Even if he does invade my blue, I will still be in a fine position. Okay. Looks very, very nice here. Okay, he's invading. He's going to his... We saw him here. He's walking to his... At top. I think I'm gonna take W now. The reason why that is, because enemy top lane has prio. I don't think any mid lane will... S or my mid lane will stay having prio. I just wanna be sure of whatever can happen. Kite is here a little bit. Okay, there is this missing now. I'm gonna smite this. I'm gonna see if I track Darius down. That's very nice. Okay, he's just gonna wait in this bush. He does respect me, which is already great. I think Hecarim is around here. Could be trying to invade me. There is a still missing, so I'm just gonna kite it back. And I'm gonna walk probably to bot scuttle here. There is a still missing. Okay, there is a here. Hacker use this E. Don't use the E yet. Be more slow than I expected. I'm just gonna W right again. my W reset. Almost got my resets off and I get my Q. Could have been played way better. Don't think he wins that, no? Oh my god, come on top catch! Yes! Okay, that's massive. We got Ghost, Flash, Ghost, Flash. We got every single ability. Hecarim could fight for bot scuttle now too. Yeah. I'm gonna see what I can do here. Would love to go for bot scuttle. Hecarim could be taking that. Yeah, he did. It's fine. He is on his... Ah, fuck. He's on his grump now. It's all fine. On his grump. We can't be taking Dragon. We are still pretty behind, but Miles has a lot of CS, so he got a lot from that. I also got some... Eh, it's okay. The trade is okay. Also crazy how much healing the Hecarim actually got off. It wasn't dealing any damage in the beginning of the fight. Absolutely zero. Because of his W. Because <coughs> he had his Q stacked on the Scuttle. And heal from the scuttle as well, probably. Toplane has a freeze too. I don't want to play around top Tom Kent right now. Because that could give me a lot of kill participation. I'm gonna kite this here. I want to take my Grump and then find a top lane gank that would best be best. Please win it. Nice, that's so fucking good. Can get a lot from these from this rampage here. He's gonna push it. I can top and I can try to do something. If we can kill him, that would be insane. I'm just gonna put a ward. I'm just chilling, I'm full chilling. Don't think I can get much here. 
He's probably gonna reset again as well and go to his bot side camps. Nice. Why does Swain want to have F? <sighs> All good. I'm gonna go towards my wrap up now. Nice. We should be. We could be winning that even. Oh shit. I think we can win this. This barrier too. Right, okay, that's fine. I can't push the wave, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go Crux into Red Buff. I'm just gonna go Crux into Red Buff, and then I see what I will be doing. Botskull will be up as well. We see Darius walking here. And he should be dying here. And it picks well, I want three. to play for Dragon. That would be the best. And if it's scenarios, Full 1v9. Thanks a lot for the subscription. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful stay here. Hope you're gonna enjoy the stream. I'm just gonna see if this is up. I'm level 6. I'm very strong. I have Malza 6 as well. Already did Scuttle. Want to gank bot lane maybe. That would be great. They do know I'm here. I'm just gonna start it. Get bot prior. Bot prior, please. Miles, I need you, please. Didn't use my E yet. Don't think the enemy hacker will be fighting this. I'm gonna use my E now. I don't think the hacker will be fighting that. Nice. I'm gonna smite this, go to chickens, and then go for a top lane herald. That will be my next goal. Get the first dragon. Bowser is getting strong. Tam Kenji is extremely strong, so that should be a free herald. He doesn't misplay it completely. So because Velk Tam Kenji is so fat now, I'm gonna try to play for the dra for the herald now as well. I was gonna take my camps. I take way too long clearing my camps. With curvebone dagger, my resets my resets are not that optimal right now. But I didn't have a great amount of bag uh, gold on my bags. I don't have smite, but should be able to take that. Hecarim top lane. I think Malta should be going top lane. I should be focusing the Herald. That's way better to finish at first, get all the gold, and now walk top side. Gonna take Darius here. Rockhold is way too late as well. Nice. For one second, I thought we lost the fight. I was a little bit scared. I don't have enough gold for my item. I'm just gonna W here in this bush. I won't be able to kill him. I'm gonna kill the wave here and get out. Yeah, maybe take my top side camps would be the smartest. Won't have enough gold. I think I should just reset. He, no he sees me. Okay, I'm gonna cancel my reset because he saw me. And now I'm just gonna take my top seconds. Want to play for Scuttle? I, I would love to stay for Blade Rune King. If I manage to do that, it's extremely worth it. But keep in mind, right now I don't deal that much damage to the camps, so it's a very inefficient farming. But it could be extremely worth it if you think you will get enough gold to finish Blade Rune King. Nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna take Grump now. I'm getting closer to Blade from King. And I just need 200 more gold. If we can get a top lane catch after this, that would be absolutely insane. I also have ghost and gold for that. Okay, freezes that. Probably not gonna go. Could also consider selling um selling a dagger for that, but it's probably not that optimal. He has his package, so. Probably cannot fight it. Oh my god, that's insane. I'm just gonna ult instantly. Also gonna ghost. I'm not gonna use my Q yet, because... If I use my Q, there's a chance that um, Hecarim denies me with ult and everything. But if I, do I save my Q, there's no way Hecarim can do a thing. Okay, now I'm just gonna reset. Buy my Blade of Rune King and another dagger, which is so fucking insanely good. And now I just consider going bot lane or... Top lane. Here I will be going top lane because I don't have all that on of ghosts. If I had old and ghosts, I would gank bot lane now because I can for sure kill them with old and ghosts and I'm Blade from King. But with. Oh, that 
that's very important. But with not gold and not ghost, I just want to kill the Darius if possible. Nice! That's so good. If he if he just decides to die there, I respect that. And I'm just gonna try to dive top lane. That would be my goal. I'm on my way to this Darius. I want to get top lane first blood tower now. I'm very strong blade from king. I now have ult as well. So I have a massive power spike. I'm gonna walk around. Let him push. That's all fine. There's no way of coming. We're full relaxing. Kim can press W here. I want to take tower aggro. He does take it. So that's absolutely fine as well. I'm just gonna Q here. Now I'm gonna full attack tower. Yeah, we don't have minions actually. I'm just gonna get out here. Use my Herald now. That's absolutely fine because I will get full tower with that anyways. Could have maybe used it a little bit later because now Herald always gives the tower more armor. It has 40, 45 armor now. That's probably a little bit too much. Get first blood tower though, so that's nice. Wow, dies. Beautiful. Now we see three people on the map. Only Hecarim and Darius is missing. But there's a chance we can push further even. If it's only Darius, we can push further. Most likely Hecarim is also... Like, because he's in Fog of War, I can't push further now. I have to... Okay, uh, this is probably smarter. Yeah, this is not the most optimal back. You always want to have Rage Knife, but I kind of need Berserkers. And if I buy Rage Knife, I have 800 gold, with which I can buy nothing besides boots and dagger. So, this is probably better. <sighs> I want to play for Dragon now. If he does dragon now on spawn, I will give it to the Hecarim. That would be fine. Because it's extremely efficient if I manage to get my camps now. Hecarim did a counter chunk in my red buff. Okay. That's all fine. It's all fine. Korki is on his way too. I want to fight Corky. My goal is to kill Corky here. Not them. I don't know where I am. Now we see him. For some reason he was... What the fuck? Uh, Q bounce, get my reset. For some reason, this Corky was standing still here. As if he was knowing that I'm in this bush. That was kind of strange. But our cheese was perfect. We cheese here. If Corky comes, he dies. If he, Because he didn't see me, so the chance he comes is actually pretty high. And if he doesn't come... <clears throat> I'm gonna push bot lane now. Tower planning is off, so I can take this tower. And if Corky doesn't come, then he's zoned out from the fight. And we always win the fight, as you can see. Give this to Swain, that's beautiful. I'm gonna try to take full tower now. Nice. Gonna reset by Rage Knife. I don't have pickaxe as well, but in this position, look where I am. I'm so far away from the next camp, so it's very inconsistent to. Um, no, no, it's very inefficient to stay here. So it's better to just reset, take Wolves Grump Blue, have my entire top side cleared. And then either reset for pickaxe or find another catch for rage bread then. <laughs> Show me the difference between your course and the other so I can buy it. I'm a little bit confused by your question. Do you mean the difference between my course and my coaching? Or could you or do you mind explaining it more a little bit? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna take this one now. I'm gonna go for Harold. Yeah, they fight bottom, which is not that optimal. I do not want them to fight here, but that's very unoptimal. I could have maybe tried to communicate here and there a little bit better. Considering defending mid lane as well. I would always recommend Ink Shadow Master Yi. But it turns out it's very nice. Oh, he actually was there. I should have focused a little bit more on the game instead of... Yeah, that's all fine. Just gonna ghost here. I don't need to use my ult. My ghost is not... Like, with ghost, I can do way more. You see, now I can use my ult if I needed to. And I don't even need to use my... Um, I don't even need to use my ult at all. With my ult, I can carry gank bot then now as well. And I'm in a very good position. Whip Cherry, if you do need some reference if uh, to buy the course... Just ask here in the Twitch chat. Did anyone buy the course here? We have a lot of people here in the chat who bought the course who can tell you if they liked it or not. And they will give you their opinion. Very, very simple. And then you can decide it on afterwards. 
It's very, very easy. Okay, let's see if I can get a catch on the Darius here. Okay, he does look like he wants to face check me. Don't use your E yet. Don't use your E yet. Even though I have E, now I'm going to use my E the moment he tries to disengage. Um, the reason why I wait with using my E, because if he ends up fighting me, I will always be winning the fight because I have a longer E because I use it later. I was not expecting three people full all engaged with uh, Koki Package and Soraka behind. I should have focused a little bit more. I am a little bit unfocused right now explaining shit. So I should be regaining my energy. All good. All fine. Was my fault. But all good. I refocus. Oh, wonderful. <clears throat> I feel like I don't have enough influence into my games. Maybe you have some... Uh, advice you get a lot of influence on the game alone with communication and with pressure the reason why you probably don't have enough impact influence is the same then um, it's simply because you do one or two inconsistent early game plays are then because of that one or two levels behind that's the only reason and because of this being behind we win please because you're then behind, the game is extremely hard to play and you feel like you have no influence. So it's just about the early mistake and the enemy snowballing over that. That's literally the only reason. Okay, I need to focus now. I need to get a catch on Darius again. I do want to kill He doesn't have ghosts. So I'm just going to run at him. He tries to disengage, but I have smite to slow. He got his flash. That's worth it. I can't kill him. Hecarim could be close. Soraka could ult. Hey, we got a TP midlands. I'm just gonna take this. Oh my god. They should be playing around me. I'm so strong. Maybe they kill Zoraka at least. Play around me, please. And to communicate that as good as possible. I'm the wing condition. We have Malza ult. Maybe we find a catch. We see Hecarim here. I don't have ult, so I need to be very careful. Oh shit, he did use his E absolutely correctly. There was no way he could have used his E better. And now he did this one. It was my bad. Can we please group S5? It's extremely easy to win this. Let's stay together. With my ghost and f ult, we hard win. Okay, he's not gonna die sadly. Yeah, very, very badly done. Oh, the Q from Caitlyn was also so bad. They're playing very, very terrible. Okay, Hecarim is probably gonna take Dragon. We lost so much pressure from that. I should... I'm, I'm gonna fully focus now. I can't look at the chat anymore. And I'm gonna show you how to win in games like this where you are really suffering from your team not listening and your team just not constantly wanting to win and them constantly doing mistakes. And I'm gonna show you what I can do. First thing. I do not win team fights right now because they are not playing together, because they are so bad in their mind. So I'm just gonna try to get sneaky catches. He has no sums. He does have ghosts again, I think. I'm just gonna try to run at him. He's trying to disengage. With uh, Malza slow, we might be able to catch him. I'm gonna ult here. Exactly with these catches, we can win. Go together. Baron pressure. I just try my absolute best to communicate. I know they are very childish and don't listen, but I still try to communicate. That is my job, to try and try and try again. I'm gonna smite this, or attack Reese. I don't have smite for Baron, but we're not gonna go Baron anyways yet. Okay, they want to fight. I need to follow with my team now. Okay, we can get a catch on Varus maybe. Looks very good. Nice, and no smite, but we can. They don't know, the enemies don't know we don't have smite. Get mid prior, and then we're gonna go for this one. Koki is bot, I'm just gonna start it. I have no smite. Please deny him. You guys can. I'm gonna try to communicate as good as possible. There's a high chance Ekrim doesn't even try to contest this. Yeah, doesn't seem like he tries to contest this. Even though I don't have smite, but he couldn't be contesting this. I'm gonna reset. Does he engage? Doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna reset and try to kill Corky now. Very, very focusedly. Fought through decision making. Very important. Calm down. Don't get nervous. You can win your ranked game. Focus on the things you can do. We are in a rough position. Yes. 
We could lose the game. Yes, it would be my fault because I didn't focus earlier. I'm in control. I can make this work. A best brief a little bit. I'm gonna take top scuttle. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna engage. I can follow up that. Be hard. We should be hard winning that. I'm gonna go in Varos. I can't queue because of Soraka E. Soraka E with Varos ult. Perfectly in sync. Perfectly in sync. That was literally. I was literally point and click CC'd through the entire fight. I don't want them to fight, but we could potentially win this. The strongest member, Varos, is dead. My mults are still pretty strong. I could have played it a little bit better. I didn't see the Varus old animation as well. I didn't see the Zoraka E either. That was very weird. Didn't see that one. Could have done more maybe. I would have... I'm gonna wait for my item here. I think I would probably need some QSS probably against Varus ult. Yeah, I, die, I die instantly on Varus ult. That's pretty rough. Okay, can we kill Hecarim on site? He gets a lot of CS. I need to go with Malza. Huh? Malza ult equals one consistent kill. I cover, I cover you, Malz now. Okay, you can push further if you wanted to. He does want to reset. Has another item that would be great. He doesn't. Could try to cheese Darius bot lane. You see, Darius has six staffs, zero kills. There's a high chance he's just gonna push further. Doesn't expect an engage on him right now. Just gonna press my W. It's on his way to clear this probably. You see, Corky top side. The way he path, you probably warded this. I'm gonna walk up to this blue. You see, Corky top lane. This is warded. I'm gonna go to my wrap-up now. Consider helping mid lane. Taking my cams now. Dragon is about to spawn. Maybe I can find a catch on bot side. With, ah, cocky has package. Don't fight now. I'm gonna sweep at this. Okay, I need to follow them up. Maybe we get a catch that would be extremely good. Nice. Let's go, Dragon. You can also fight this. Varus is dead. I'm gonna go on Zoraka here. I'm gonna chase Zoraka. Can we end? Can we end? Can we end? Probably not. We have 23 seconds on Varus. I timed my W's perfectly for Hecarim Q. So it looked like he doesn't deal damage. But I timed my Q's. My W exactly in the way of his Q cooldown. Was perfectly in sync. We can consider ending this. If we die. Can they do something about this? I think we can end this. We should be. I'm gonna Q Varus here. I to kill him as well. And we should be enough to end the game. I'm gonna use my ghost and kite this. Should be enough to end the game. I bet GG. We'll change the gap! Oh, I need to do so much to carry these games. It's incredible. Okay, but it was my fault if we lost this. There was five minutes where I started to talk too much about my explanation and focused, didn't, started to control the game less. My eyes should be on the game while I explain the things. And just look whenever I can. I thought I can, but I was not in the best situation to, to do that. So it was almost, I almost managed to lose this. I'm sorry guys, I could have done more. But I'm happy we won it nonetheless. We are 100% win rate. And we are getting closer to Master TMMR. You make the game so hard too with uh, with Dusk, in my opinion. GG, anyway, you're always great. We're always proud of you, bro. Kenzie, thank you very much. You're always here as well. 
At the end, wouldn't it be better if you have bought MR QSS item? The problem about buying any QSS item is that I will always end up um, not the, having enough damage. One second. <clears throat> so if I bought if I bought like QSS or like more for merchants or anything, um, I will always get first of all one shot nonetheless, and secondly, that's the biggest problem. I will not be able to deal enough damage to kill Ash and something. So the, the main problem, we did very fine the last of the game, we have to say, the enemies did play it well, and their team comp is extremely good against Marcy, no matter what you do. That is, no matter what you do. Okay, the enemies pick Viego, that's already a very nice Yi game. Yi is, Yi Viego is a skill matchup, but because most matchups, Yi gets countered by the enemies, you always want to have a skill matchup, because then that's always favored for Master Yi. I've heard having Lodomnix and Borg together is suboptimal, and since you can't kill Ramos anyway, would you rather be a better item? Also, has cooldown. You don't want to buy cooldown on Yi, because Riot Games made it in a way that when you buy Ability Haste with your auto attacks, you will not reduce one second per auto attack. You will actually reduce lesser the more Ability Haste you have. You kind of want to avoid this. Yeah. That is a good Yi game. This is a good Yi game. I'm also gonna take Ghost. This is a wonderful E game to play. I'll take um, Relentless Hunter here because I just want to get very fast and then I can catch GP and Viego anytime. <coughs> the thing is, Blade of Throne King and Lodominix is suboptimal. Um, but with Yi in this current position, it's still the best from all the options. Because the problem about this is that you either go like a Lethality build or a on-hit build. But Yi is a very unique champion. So it's very... It, uh, very... Different, I would just call it. It's very different. There's a dead pixel in your stream and it's tilting me. It's on your mouse, never mind. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a mouse. <laughs> hilarious, it's hilarious. <clears throat> All right, guys. Is he better with the new items? I think he will be a bit better, yes. But I can't judge that because I, I, you always need to feel it and you don't know how strong the other things will go get, you know? Okay. What's the best matchup for Yi? Probably Dr. Mundo. Because <laughs> he can't do anything against Yi. Shivana is also a great matchup, but... Actually, no. I think Dr. Mundo is the best. Okay, let's win it. Let's win the next game. So, we are already playing in Diamond Elo. We're getting cl very close to Master Tema. I wish to finish today with the journey. So we need to be winning more and more and more. Is it raining outside? No, the music I'm listening to is rain music. <coughs> How's the Evelyn matchup? Evelyn matchup and Yi ma <coughs> Evelyn matchup is a skill matchup, but it's slightly favored to Evelyn. If the Evelyn is good, it will be favored to for Evelyn. And if both are good, it's still favored to the Evelyn. If the Evelyn is bad, it's favored to Yi. So probably Ajutan, you just the goat on Evelyn. That's why it's so easy for you. <laughs> I'm just gonna reset. This gangplank reset looked really cool. <clears throat> okay, looks good. So, because this is such a good Master Yi game now, you want to have a very consistent early game. That means I'm not gonna try to cheese anything early, because if I end up dying in the enemy snowball, even though we have a good... Yi is good against enemy team comp, I will probably not be able to snowball and carry. If we go even though, I will always be out winning. Is the greatest enemy. You're calm, guys, so I'm not surprised. How much RP did I lose last game? I appreciate it first of all. I didn't want a leash. It's okay. Um, I don't know how much RP I lost. I didn't check. 
<laughs> There's a bat, okay, Xia, and I appreciate it. It's like this. Okay. Could have been way better. That's fine. Gonna kite this here a little bit. Alright, I can't really find a gank. I don't want to gank early as I explained it earlier. <clears throat> Does look very promising to gank bot then right now. Because they're so overpushed, but I'm not gonna do it. It's way too risky. The risk reward ratio here is a joke to go for that bot lane gank. I'd rather just take my top side cams. Exclamation mark ghost, please. <laughs> I'm gonna take my blue buff now. Riven probably won't get dove. Kingman goes for ward now. <laughs> All right. Maybe should be a little bit careful that Gangplank doesn't invade me. Should have done Grump before I do blue. Yeah, Riven can take this ward here too if she wanted to. Mio could be everywhere. Very nice. He goes probably bot side. Oh, he's top, he's top, he's top. Very nice, Viego's top side. I'm gonna get double scarlet for free now. Viego needs to reset and get it to his grump again. He just needs to respect. I could try to dive Senna. I mean, I should. I think I'm gonna dive her. Vigo's not here, so I can just walk up straight away. I'm gonna focus Varos. There's absolutely nothing the enemies can do. The reason why we win this, guys, is because we know where everybody is on the map. Always keep that in mind. That is important. We knew Vigo's was topside. We knew Gangplank was topside. We knew Victor's mid lane. Therefore, it was only these two. <clears throat> and no matter how they play it, we'll always get a good outcome from that. That's why I went for it. And now the wave is pushing slowly towards us, while the vein is already ahead. So we are in an absolutely wonderful position now. Why do you not save your smite in case of scuttle contest? Um, in higher elos, like, especially, I would say, above platin already, um... You barely need a smite for Scuttle. That doesn't really happen. You either give Scuttle or you fight the enemy jungler exactly. Usually if you start Scuttle, you're gonna path the Scuttle away from the from the jungler. And even if the enemy jungler tries to smite it, you will always be killing it. For example, if I'm here and I start Scuttle and Viego's there, I'm gonna kite Scuttle towards this side. And even if he tries to walk towards the Scuttle and smite it, he would never get in range. <coughs> Alright, if Diego takes Dragon now, we give it. That's fine. We're getting our camps. We're getting everything we want. Riven pushes top lane. Also beautiful. Diego's top lane. I'm gonna try to contest this. Maybe counter gank. Nice! We're pet driven. How much age? How much... He has 36 CS, so we can assume he did his chuckens, chickens and his crux. I'm gonna reset, I'm just gonna put a control word here. The reason why I have time for this is because my rapper spawns in 36 seconds. I do want to have Berserker's Greaves on my reset anyways. This is one of the rare situations where I have, oh, where I have time to use a control word here. Now we see him walk towards crux. I'm just gonna ping him. And as you can see, this information carries. Not only Riven, his entire decisions, Alois and Alice's decisions. 
but also, most importantly, our bot lanes. They are able to trade now, they are able to play extremely aggressive knowing Viego's not here. Not only that, we also know Viego's not on Dragon. We end up getting a kill only because of the control ward. Now I can danger ping. Viego mid, care. Keep in mind, putting a control ward in the pixel bushes are usually bad. Pixel bushes, this bush and this bush. Because, let's say the enemy support is roaming. Which is the first bush that gets checked if there's a ward inside? It's a pixel bush. The pixel bush gives a lot of information, but usually gets cleared very easily. And I want this controller to stand there very long, if possible. Okay, we go spot there now. I'm gonna walk into this bush. I have to engage on Varus now. I'm just gonna kill the minions here and I'm out. We got Viego Flash, that's all we can get. Just looking if I can get more. I'm gonna make sure this freezes, absolutely beautiful. He's gonna go for Scuttle, I'm gonna go for Chickens, maybe mid lane gank with my Ghost. Could be a very good mid lane gank. I'm gonna use my ghost and instantly gank him. Looks way too good to not to. He tries to walk out, but I'm very fast. Oh, very good W from him. Ego tries to cover him. Won't be able to kill him. Zoraka's here too. Not very optimally done from... Maybe we can kill Victor as well. i take minions now. We want to push this wave. Also gonna queue the moment she wants to auto attack me. Watch her auto attacks. Okay, now we can... He did bot scuttle already. I'm just gonna take chickens. And either gonna reset then with curve bow longsword. Or I'm gonna path into topside. Take everything topside. And then take Herod as well. Incredible Zoraka roam. Let's get it. Beautiful. I think the smartest here is to just take your topside camps. Bigger bot then. I'm gonna go for Herald instantly. Blue buff into Herald is gonna be the play. <coughs> I think we're gonna lose Dragon from that. Terribly done from Zoraka. But we do get... Maybe I can kill him even. Incredible, I have actually absolutely zero chance in fighting him. I don't deal any damage. I mean, I have a lot of gold. I should have... I can't even take the Herald. It's so risky. Yeah, damn. I should have no... He already has a Sense Reaver. That's so crazy. Same CS. 2-0 and I deal zero damage. <clears throat> but that's also because of bone plating and he fought in minions. Senna ult. Yeah. I think I'm gonna reset now and then play for Herald again. I can't play for Herald right now. I don't have ult. I don't have ghost. I need to reset. It's gonna reset right now and then play for Herald. Is it cringe to say Zenarius diff after a winner game? What do you think, guys? Do you think it's cringe to say that? I'm gonna wait for <clears throat> my scepter. I would love to play for top lane. Probably cannot. Hello, Nalchan. Yes. <laughs> nice. Don't know where Viego is. I'm gonna smite this instantly just to be far. Okay. Maybe I'm in time to. Probably will not be do. He tries to cheese for it. I think he I will kill him. Cold. Now that is very depressing for the Viego. I love playing with Alois. I really miss playing with Alois, guys. Is it worth it to buy Berserkers before we unite the king? Yes. But you are only allowed to buy Berserkers, technically. 
When you already have pickaxe, at least one damage source in the in your item build. Okay, we're just gonna reset. Ah, I need to stay for Blade from King. So playing for top lane would be great. That would be wonderful. I'm gonna walk all the way around, try to lane gang. W the entire gangbang burst. He can't kill me, and now I have enough gold for Blade from King. So we want to take full tower right now. Probably should, okay. Riven has a lot of gold. She wants to. I'm gonna give this all this gold solo to Riven. Vegos bot lane. Because Riven is 4 0. Riven is an insane snowball champion. And Riven can carry harder than me. I already have my Blade from King power spike. So I don't need more gold. Right now in this particular situation. And she gets way more value from the first blood tower. So giving her the first blood tower here is in this position correct. Even though Masi is an insane gold scaling champion. But just Riven can do more right now with the gold. How much gold do you have? Riven? 3k. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna take my wrap off now as well. Okay, beautiful. Can cover bot lane now. I do have my ult. Guys, do all the players play tank Katarina right now? I don't know. <laughs> I want to go bot scout, but I need to be careful. I don't know if we have Viegos right now. Nice! That's exactly what I'm talking about! Maybe we can gank mid lane. Viego's covering. I don't want to fight this. I'm just gonna hold distance. The big reason why I don't want to fight this, even though I am strong, because the only way the enemies win is if the enemies get a catch like that. I have Zoraka ult, so I'm not scared at all. Gonna walk back and then forth. I was very close to getting my Q. Nice! And now I'm gonna go Rage Blade. <clears throat> we don't need to play for this dragon. Damn! No, Luis! GG, that's fine. I'm not gonna go for the dragon instantly because that's not the wing condition. <clears throat> All right. Did you miss it? Is Riven Alois? <laughs> I knew this question would come. <laughs> I mean, I will ask you guys, is this Riven really Alois? I don't know. Looks like it. No, Alois would not die. Alois would be more consistent. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see if the dragon is up here. I don't want to fight. I'm just going to take the ward here. I want my team to pressure first. Now we need to wait for bot pressure, for mid pressure. I want to cover Riven. That's also one of the fundamental. Covering my strong side. Uh, not my strong side. Covering my strongest team member. Oh, wow. <coughs> Holy shit. My voice is getting... Is, is gonna... Is, is gone soon. I'm gonna play for Dragon. Riven is very strong, so she will protect us. Okay, I'm just gonna smite this. Walk mid lane. As I said, dragon is not the win condition, but it's nice to have. It's also denying enemies the win condition. Just gonna go top scuttle. Try to get uh, as much gold as possible. <coughs> we get way more gold per second than the enemies do. Gonna invade now. Okay. Maybe I can find a Q on her. Oh, 
Oi, 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 oi. Okay, the reason I engaged like this is because they used the Senna W already. All the abilities they have to stop me. Oh, that's not that optimal. I'm just gonna W this. Q the Varus here. The reason why I engage on Varus here is because my team will always be able to take Tower Argo from me. They will always be able to sidestep the Victor E if possible. <coughs> Beautiful. My team will always be able to take Tower Argo for me. So the moment I Q, I don't have Tower Argo anymore. That's why I'm not scared fighting that. I have Zoraka behind me. Victor is dead. I see three people on the map. I'm not that scared. And Q again. When I want to take the full tower. If he tries to kill me, I will instantly die of him. I'm gonna take Herald as well and then I have a faster reset. Let's go, guys! Beautiful! <laughs> Beautiful. You could take this ward. Not needed, though. Nice! One for one trade, actually. But it's fine, we take those. I have no smite, but I won't need smite. If you have no smite ready, you can also keep the eye alive. Should look, I'm not attacking the eye. Until I want to burst it like this, and then it dies. Just if you have no smite and you're scared. But right now, of course, there's no reason to be scared. Alright, we have Rage Blade. Very good spike. I'm gonna go right towards Red Buff. GG about Rage Blade! Let's go, chat. We are getting there. We are getting closer to our final goal. Master TMMR. Wait. In Scotland, it's cold and raining this time of the year. Wait. That's insane. Guys, I love rain. If it rains 80% of the year, I would be happy. If we ignore the fact that the sun is important for being um, being happy, but besides that, I love rain. Same, yeah, of course. Okay, I'm gonna ask you something. Type one in the chat if you want 90% of the days sun and 10% rain. Type two in the chat. Forget about all the health and 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 um. Forget about all the health and the other things, nature, things, just for you, feeling. Or we're going to have 90% rain and 10% sun. That's two. <laughs> Guys, if it's raining 90%, you know how, you know how depressing that will be at one point. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, now it works. Fuck. Okay, so first of all, um, let's do it. Secondly, why always Master Yi? Um, I am doing unranked to master full educational with master Yi only. So I show every Yi player to, to pl what they need to do from silver, gold, platinum, emerald, diamond, master elo. What exactly do they need to do? I'm permanently giving all my thoughts. That's my educational content. It's free coaching for you guys. But I recommend to take it. I will be doing that on other champions as well. My goal is to do it with every single jungler. The series. So everybody who wants to learn will then know how to win the game and what to do and Nalchan, thanks a lot for the subscription i really appreciate the support and i hope you do have a wonderful stay my brother really appreciate it it does mean a lot to me all right we're gonna kite this now i want to win every single game we play today my goal would be that we finish the unranked to master series today. So we need to be winning more and more games. We're already getting closer. Dr. Mundo. But I talked about it earlier that Dr. Mundo is the one of the easiest matchups that exists, probably the easiest. And now we are playing against Dr. Mundo. 
But that is really beautiful. <clears throat> the reason why it's so easy is because he has no CC to stop me later. And not only that, the main important, the most important thing why we want to play against the Dr. Mundo is because he's a tank. And every tank can be ignored. And now think about uh, Dr. Mundo has no CC why we ignore him. It will be very easy for us to find kills on the weaker target, let's just say. You be careful of Panther not cheesing on us. But I think we will be in a fine position. I'm gonna save Scuttle right now. Because I won't need it anyways. On the, well, because I need to wait anyways. I cannot find a top lane gank. I cannot find a mid lane gank. I'm just gonna wait for Scuttle now. Feel free to ask me questions and learn, guys. Maybe I find a mid lane gank. That would also be very nice. Look at no E. I'm just gonna, I want to go. I want a flash. That's all I can do. I'm gonna focus so to Mundo. Get my lethal tempo stacked. Now I'm gonna Q Zundra. And then Dr. Mundo again. Q the minions. Absolutely perfect. I cannot deep push it. But I'm gonna take one more minion. I can't deep push it. Zundra will have TP. But I can take two more minions. This is exactly how you need to play it, guys. Save my E first of all. Then use my E. Turn on Zundra to get the kill. Or finish Dr. Mundo. And then play it in a way that you will for sure not die. Because you have a lot of damage. Here in this particular situation, it's better to buy a curve bow instead of boots. Because that is a lot of raw damage with which you can take dragon and your camps very quickly. It doesn't look too good. Could be winning nonetheless. Oh, terribly done. Oh my god. Could not have been played worse. Gonna walk all the way around. They will for sure push this entire wave. There's a high chance I will not get anything. I will also land on that. Yeah, well done from them. Nothing we can do. I can do dragon on spawn if I want to. The enemies need to reset. Dr. Moon is on his top side cams right now. I smite instantly because I will have another smite up <clears throat> in 10. And I don't have boots. I have raw damage. So taking dragon is very good. So I can use my raw damage. Always keep that in mind. I'm gonna take my chickens. If I maybe even take my crux first. I think it's good. W now. So my So I take my double strike. Okay. Because I needed to wait for my Q anyways. And I'm just gonna full kill to top. There's not more we can do. We got one kill. We got dragon. We're getting very strong. We got two kills, I mean. And that's all we can do in the end. Okay, they're trying to fight. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I mean... Mm, I want to take top skull if that works. If the enemies do top skull, I give it. That's fine. Panfan has a lot of pressure. Every one of my team is losing. So I need to show you how to win in diamond with everybody of your team losing. Not only do they lose, also they're not playing that properly. But we can make this work. So now roams. Not that optimal. And we'll be level 6. With level 6 and goals, we have a lot of chances to gank bot lane. So Dr. Mundo here. I'm going to cheese him now on his red buff because with ult, I can kill him very easily. He has sweeper. He doesn't have a ward. I have ghost soon. I want to kill him. Okay. Use my ult. Don't use my E yet. Now use my E on the double strike. Can't be killing him as well, sadly. I'm just gonna go for his red buff. We see two people bot lane. With the mid push, we can maybe even gank top lane. Uh, bot mid lane. Maybe die for. Probably not. Need to ghost to get out. We can fight this. 
He's gonna use his E as well. A very bad Zona took the kill for some reason. I'm gonna take the Crux now. The enemies fight us, that's terrible. The mistake the enemies are doing is that they're fighting, fighting for our strong side. They should be fighting bot lane. Because now I can take Herald as well. Dr. Mundo should not be playing top side. Sub diff, sub huge. Oh my god. We can win, all good. It feels like playing with kids, guys. <laughs> But, I mean, I'm pretty sure you all experience what I'm experiencing. Smite this here. I want to have boots as well, not only better from King. Hopin is also pushing towards us. Maybe we find a gank option there. Gonna be also, again, a very hard game. But the enemies have Dr. Mundo, which is good for us. I do have a lot of bursts of Panther on Syndra. The reason why I'm not resetting right now is because I do want to have boots as well if possible. Probably I'm not gonna get it. Probably should be. I, I could also kill top lane. I mean, I'm, I think I'm just gonna go Grumpet reset. Ay, 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 wait me. It's so insane if they play slow. The reason why they're not playing slow is also because they're very tilted for zero reason. I'm coming. All good. We got this. Yeah. Oh shit, that is insane. Wait until the minion dies. I'm gonna rock at him. He doesn't know that I don't have Q up yet. You see, so he runs into me. <laughs> he doesn't know that I don't have Q. I need to push this too. Can I take top, full top tower? Panfern has no ult. Panfern also has no TP. I'm gonna smite this just to be faster. Maybe I can take full tower, even if it's not first blood tower. Now Dr. Mundo does the right thing as, as, as if he was listening to me. I'm gonna use my heritage. I, I won't get the full tower. And throws bot in as well. I don't think I have enough damage to get it. I need to get out. Sadly. Sadly, I need to get out. But we got four platings. I'm gonna reset in this bush here. Maybe my team wins there, finally. Oh, good, good time, can't jump you. Come on, Akshan, do it, finally! I have 3,000 gold. I'm gonna go top lane now. Because time can't will still be bot lane. And I need to catch... Actually, fuck it, I'm gonna go dragon. I'm gonna give... Nice! But I wanted that for 12, I can go for dragon. I lose a lot of... Experience top lane. Do we have any TPs? Akshan had TP. Hmm. I think Akshan should TP. And not time catch. But I'm, 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 this is not in my hands right now. I need to focus on getting the dragon. Hanfen is not ulting us. We're killing it very quickly. I've played it from King. I'm very strong. i smite it. I'll put my control inside here. Now I'm just gonna take my camps. I can try to kill bot then as well. I'm very strong. Actually, I also got three kills now. And enemies are tilted. That's a great time to gank. I'm gonna walk all the way around. I do want to fight this. I'm gonna use my ghost. You see how aggressive the enemies play? That's because they are feeling upset. And they're like, I need to get a good outcome now. That's why they play so aggressively. I'm gonna give this to her. Beautiful. The enemies are like... What the fuck is going on? Teams, why are you so bad? And we support an ADC. And we can use that. We're, pl we're not playing against a robot. We're playing against humans. They have feelings. And we can use that. Of course, only in-game. You never... Oh, that could be good. Looks like a free kill. That's exactly where I hard counter him. We're gonna get platings now. Did I say her, <laughs> Abuse humans noted. Fundamentals. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna invade enemy jungle now. Dr. Mundo's dead for five more seconds. Hanfen is top lane. I 
Nice. I think I'm just gonna reset. Um, probably just right now on the spot. Because I do have enough gold for Rage Knife. Bang, bang the AP word. The AP uh, um, amplifying tome is useless anyway, so you don't need that. Do you really lose that much XP top considering minion XP was nerfed again? It shouldn't be worth much. 315. I wouldn't vote it. I wouldn't have lost that much XP. Yes, I would have lost a lot of gold mainly. I would have. Uh, there is still a lot of XP, but mainly a lot of gold. And also, there was a, a good potential that I can kill Pantheon as well. And that these are a lot of arguments why I was considering it at least. Okay, I'm on my way bot side. Play with sweep. I think this is warded. Oh. Still have ult. Is it a P coming from behind? Okay, that's all good. I have four people, so I need to play it very slow. Hanvan has no E now. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can do something. Always keep in mind there's a huge shadow on me as well. Just make sure I'm not dying. I'm gonna take all my topside camps now. I'm gonna take all my topside camps out. Then I want to play for Herald if possible. That would be the, the best. <laughs> and beautiful. Now we just play for Herald now. That's all fine. <laughs> I think it went mid lane, but that's all good. They want to fight us. We need to be a little bit careful. Okay, Panban pushes top first. It gives us enough time to finish it. Yeah, I need to ult out. I need to just ult and run. Ult and run. Ult and run. Panban is here. Way too dangerous. The Mundo has his slow. I'm gonna wait for the bot push. We got Herald. Everything we needed. I'm just gonna wait for my... <clears throat> for my ult again, for my rage plate. Considering bot scuttle, they didn't walk through here, so I'm very strong. I'm gonna take the plant here. I want to play for dragon again. You can fight this. Enemies are playing very aggressive again. I'm gonna go on Jinx first. This is exactly how we will end up winning the games. I don't have vision here. So I can't consider cheesing on Dr. Mundo. I'm gonna take the tower here. Get a lot of gold from that. Now we're gonna focus Dr. Mundo. I was very close. We got Jinx Slash. I was very close at queuing the minion and getting out. It was too aggressive from me. My bad. And now Jinx gets a lot. I think I should not have played for that tower. I knew I would be getting winning that. But it simply was too deep. Ooh. No! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was a little bit too deep. My bad. <clears throat> I think we will still be in a fine position. I get the, Yeah, it could have been way more optimal. For sure. Maybe we can even contest this. Action has to pee in 20. Action to pee. Soon. I think if Zona also it doesn't it doesn't feel like they want to play. Sneaky, sneaky! Okay, uh, if he smited it, I would have just given it. So that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna attack here the minions. Q, stack my rage bed up. Maybe get full tower. I'm gonna push further. 
We get two towers here and the dragon. That is really upsetting for the enemies. I ignore this. I rather want to have mid and prior. Didn't even see the ball. Can get hit by that. That's fine. Can't be kill me. I do see the enemy is bot lane, so I'm gonna just take this one as well here. Take, I'm gonna take everything here. Need to be a little bit careful of Zundra. Play aggressive again. Get a lot of pressure here. I'm gonna try to push top lane now as well. <laughs> we see f we see four people on the map right now. Only Mundo could be here. Now Zundra could be here too, so I need to walk away. There's mid lane again, I'm gonna push again. Okay, all fine. I'm just gonna W in this bush. There's Panther here. I will see all of them on the map again. I'm gonna queue here because I will get my queue up anyways again. Kill the minions first. Take full tower. Jinx has to leave this. Now we can play for Baron. And now I have Witsend as well. <coughs> Hello Blazer. Greetings. <laughs> okay, let's have some water. Stay hydrated. Okay, I'm on my way. I'm just gonna use my ghost now, just chase them. I mean, I'm extremely fast. I will for sure catch them. Look at him sacrificing his life! Don't use your Q. Ah, fuck. She, ah, could have been maybe a bit, little bit. I should have instantly walked out after killing Pantheon. We got Jinx. We got Jinx Ghost as well. And Zundra ult. Could have been a little bit better. Could have been a little bit better. If I use Q against Pantheon, Pantheon will always E. And then Zundra will Q E me. So, I wait until he uses E. Then I kite backwards. And right before his E goes back, then I will Q him. So no matter how we can play it, I will be killing him. In this game, you can go Kraken first too. Yes, that's completely fine. That's completely fine. Zundra is though a very big problem. I will deal a lot of damage. So Witsand, like if you can buy Witsand when you're level 13, you already get 65 magic damage on hit. That's extremely nice. Both deal an insane amount of damage. But a little bit of more survivability is extremely nice to have. It's not always Kraken a third better. But for you, it doesn't really matter. If I bought Kraken here, it would also be fine, basically. I deal a lot of AP damage to this Baron as well. Do I casually just solo Baron, I guess? Look at my damage on this Baron. I'm pretty sure it is more with Witsand than with Kraken. I deal so much magic damage on hit on this Baron. It looks like we are about to end here, maybe. Does look very good, indeed. I'm just gonna push further. Hanfan already gave up, it seems like. Nice! So, and another victory chat! We're getting closer to Master Tier MMR. I should be respecting that a little bit. I don't want to get this top tower. I think we get it nonetheless now. 
Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna go for dragon. I'm just gonna W here. So I survive Jesus. Now I'm gonna go for dragon. <clears throat> Does E not work against towers? No, it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. That's exactly the cheese I was talking about. That's my vision here. We get soul. Like, this is the best soul to get. I'm gonna ask you something now, guys. This is a learning tool. Which dragon do you think? Which dragon soul do you guys think has the highest win rate? Throughout every elo. Exactly, guys. It is Cloud. Cloud Soul has more win rate than Infernal Soul and Hextatch Soul. Isn't that crazy? And Cloud Soul was... There are so many people... Cloud Soul is useless. It's completely broken! I will show you why. Twill Gonzalez! Ah! Oh my god! And I still walk into the trap. Wait. I was just for one second. I was. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I was enjoying it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, guys. Okay. Oh. Oh, you, 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 you. He's actually Faker. Wow. GG. Scenarios so is just a better team. <laughs> In my opinion, Cloud Soul is amazing on you, but uh, Champ Deck Dragon sets are good on you too. No! Champ Deck Soul is for sure the worst soul in terms of win rate. Absolutely useless soul. Infernal is great, always. Hexage is great. Cloud is great. Ocean is okay. Champ Deck is trash. Not soul. Hmm. Not soul. Yeah, okay. That is true. Yeah, that's it's nice. That's true. Yeah, sure. But I think the, the, the points you get from the dragons are generally pretty useless. These stats from the dragon. Five ability haste. That's awesome and all, but that's not really useful. And most of the times people die for dragons for five ability haste. Nobody cares. Main reason what is important about dragon is the, the pressure to get Zol, and Zol is the what is really strong. Oh, push low. Look at my damage on this Dr. Mundo. Yeah, I just can't get closer. Okay, I will end then. GG! GG! Can I get a salute for the enemies? Oh, these poor little soldiers. These poor little soldiers. <clears throat> Hammer's a little bit too up. Let's go! Nice! Okay, you still see the cat like that? That is beautiful. That's what you like to see. Can you do a challenge for lowest level account and challenger? <laughs> I mean, who cares about level when I'm challenger? <laughs> oh, come on, what is this? Chell <laughs> okay. I'm sure people will be impressed if I'm low level while I'm challenger. I think we will play one more game and then we will um, eat something probably. Do -do 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 -do. Did you want to eat something? Yeah, I I'm hungry, but I will play one more, I think. I'll pick something real quick. Then I go to the restroom, then I will play one more game, and then we will eat something. And now this game, I will do it again, very, very educational, or full focus. We need to end this game with juicy, with one or two juicy master MMR full educational games. So this game again will be now full, full educational. I try to permanently talk. Okay. Okay, let's go. Well, 
Song, I will send you the song. I will send you the song. There we go. Was hältst du von den Preseason Changes für Yi? Wird sehr spaßig. Ich glaube, das wird sehr gut für Yi. Also overall. In this game, we're gonna take Flash. And I'm also gonna take Treasure Hunter this game. We could even take Last Stand as well. Why can I not change my roots? Okay. Because they have so much burst, so I would probably have my Last Stand procced. Rengar, Lissandra, and as well... Ghost is useless against Rengar and Lissandra. Where am I gonna run to? But Flash is pretty useful to one-shot Rengar, so it can't really disengage. You have a few more attacks. Flash is good against Samira. Ghost would be a bit better on Volibear to kite him and chase him. Ghost is a bit better against Malka, but this is for sure a Flash angle. Let's see if I actually have the right runes. I don't. I have Trash Hunter, but I don't have Last Stand. But that is okay. We could even go the green one this game, but I'm, I'm not gonna... I think blue is always better on Yi. Yi really needs the movement speed. But this is already mastered here, MMR. Guys, can you check please and tell me how many people are master here? Gonna reset here. So against invades, we just cover with our team. That's all we do. Just gonna flash over the wall. I would still reset here. Probably should not have cancelled my reset. Yeah, have a very good back. Control ward, longsword. Oh, never mind. Doran's blade would have been better here. Doran's blade would have been better here. That was my fault. But it's still okay. It's still okay. I'm gonna take the plant. Hitrox can leash if he wants to. Because now I have Doran's have a little bit more damage. My entire clear is at different anyways. Could have also saved my smite here. Don't think it's that needed to smite right now. Nice. I'm very fast already. I love it. I think I need to Q twice anyways here. Kind of sad. Maybe not. Yep, I need to, but that's okay. I'm pretty fast in my clear. Gonna try to clear extremely fast as possible. That's all I can do. Get my double strike again. I'm very fast in my clear. 247 on blue buff. There's a terrible control what Aatrox put in the bush. Very confusing as well. I don't know why he did it. I'm not gonna smite this, I think. 307 clear. Pretty decent. Do a flash? I don't wanna put my control against Rengar. Maybe I find a mid lane gank here. I still have flash. He's just no W. I don't need to use my Q. I have Lever Tempo a little bit stacked. So I'm just gonna help her a bit here. Now I go bot scuttle. And then I'm gonna reset. I'm not gonna put my control ward. As I said, Rengar will just jump around with it. it as well as Aatrox's control ward was pretty useless in my opinion. I want to still find a good angle for my control ward. 
And do have a very great reset. Now I'm gonna take my Crux on spawn, my chickens again, and then go towards Dragon. I usually ban Belwith just because I dislike Belwith right now. I dislike about playing against Belwith. So you should ban any champion you dislike playing against. Okay, Edric will probably TP and seems fine here. Beautiful, I'm gonna take my chickens now. I want to play for dragon, that would be extremely good if we get that dragon too. Yep, I want to take dragon on spawn, maybe get hard bot prior. We have mid prior, I'm very strong. Even though my wolves are up, I'm gonna ignore them now. I will not get a higher level anyways right now. I think I will control in this bush. Give me a little bit more information. Rank, I cannot jump around stupidly. I cannot dive bot then anyways. Enemies are full HP. We can take dragon here. <coughs> and I will take my grump and my wolves afterwards. That's completely fine. Nice. When I zoom out, that's just a bad habit. I doesn't really matter that much. I don't lose anything from it because I'm very used to it. But sometimes I just scroll on my mouse and zoom out. Uh, zoom in or zoom out. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I think that's bot side. I do want to clear my wolves first before ganking bot lane. Because always keep in mind, guys, you want to have wolves and grump as well as ch chickens and cracks. Both cleared at the exact same time. They did see me on the ward here. But they don't know that I'm... Oh, yeah, just reset here. I'm very close to level 6. Hey, Rengar's not here, that's why I want to force this dive here. Now we always win that. The reason why I can fight this is because we knew Rengar was top lane. Rengar knew I was bot side because he saw me on that board I showed you. And because of that he hard forced on the Aatrox. That's why Aatrox had to give up everything here. On the same time, I know Rengar's top side, so I can force their bot lane. I can help my bot lane push with... If the enemy bot lane just walks away, they lose the entire wave and platings. If they don't walk away, we are forcing a dive. So we are in a very good position to do so. Rana will probably DP on the tower and she's, in, she's pretty decent. All right, beautiful. Got everything cleared. Now, guys, do you think I should go for Herald or take my bot side camps? What do you think? Type it in the chat. The answer is the answer is Herald. My entire bot side camps are up. So usually I play for bot side camps, but look at my items. I'm so strong, I'm so fat, and I also have ult and I have flash. So I want to play, if possible, for Herald. Wasn't very optimal, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect the Volibear 100 to 0 one-shot specialist combo. Full AP Volibear one-shot combo. Wasn't looking at that too much. They know that I'm here, so we have to give this. Gonna walk. We, we don't need to necessarily give it already. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna let it reset now. We wait until Aatrox is back. Now we let the Herald reset. 
W to get HP back. Wolibi is coming. I want Oriana to get mid prior. Now we fight for this. The Sandra goes mid lane again. Come. We were fight. We win it. Right now this is still very consistent. I'm gonna walk up. And I'll walk back again. The Sandra is coming. So I need to be careful. Aatrox is coming too. You see the enemies cannot take it anymore. We kill bot lane. Our bot lane is strong. We let it reset again. Now we can take it maybe. I do have my ult soonish. Let's see how Lissandra paths is still. Did you see how I played that on the Herald? Please rewatch that again. Look at every movement and situation that is. There's so much to learn on that situation. Look, I literally got Herald now. In a situation where I cannot get Herald. And I and there was no chance I die. Isn't that crazy? That is exact that is necessary macro, exactly that. Is what you need to do to get all the pressure in. I'm gonna take this away for Furiana. She can take everything, of course. Yeah. I do not. I can kill her, and I also know she has no ult. I'm just gonna walk up on her like that, like that easily. We see four people on the map. We see Maokai, but I'm just gonna finish the tower here. Even if Maokai tries to engage on us, that wouldn't matter. Harold is gonna destroy the tower here. I'm not scared of Ranger either. I counter him. I use that I'm strong, stronger than him right now. I use it. You can maybe even push further. Maokai is still missing. I think we should focus the tower here. I'll die for that. Ranga will probably catch me. It was probably not that smart. It was probably not that smart to use my flash. Because not only do I lose flash, I also deny delay my death. And now look, I'm still dead for 13 seconds and I still cannot gank my kill my get my camps. Play Drake, please. We can fight it. Rengar no R. He is on it. Give as much information as possible, guys. He is on it. Yeah, it was very lately played from my team, but... Nice! But better late than never, right? He didn't even have smite. I'm gonna try a bot lane gank now, that would be great. Hmm. I'm gonna walk up on her, she doesn't see me right now. Oriana has ult, so she can just use her ult here. Do one auto attack first, thank you. Did you see? Now tell me what is Samira gonna do about it. Most junglers that play Yi will use your Q in these situations before they do the first auto attack. The problem with that is that Samira technically could E on me and then flash away. Probably is gonna die. Yes, nonetheless. But my point is, if you play it the way I play it, you will consistently kill her. We There's no chance that she ever survives it. And you get the point again? The word consistency. Let the mouth... Oh. And it'll be a little bit respected. Need to put a little bit of respect here. Okay, Oriana takes this. Just gonna cover Kaiser here. I'm not that scared of Rengar engaged, to be honest. I don't think he will fight it. I think Rengar will go to my topside jungle. That would be the smartest for him to do. Now he'll be running straight towards my rap buff. Because I know he has no ult. So there is a chance I might be able to catch him. I think he did my chickens and now he's going for my rat buff. And I think he also wants to get my crux. Because that's the only thing he actually can do. Might reset here. Yeah, might is already on the crux. And there he is. We're gonna ult. Lucky is as his third is is fully is five ferocity stacks. But this is exactly the macro you needed. Now imagine I communicated in this position a bit better to ping my Olyster to come. We would have hard won that. You see, guys. You see how much you can actually control if you did communicate correctly. There was so much I could have done. 
When will you do Charvan to master? Is it planned at the moment? I am thinking most... I really like this. And most likely next week I will do the next Unranked to Master series. If you want to participate, then the exclamation mark Discord. And in the announcement chat, I will make a poll for you guys to decide which champion will be next. I assume it's gonna be one of my most favorite champions. Probably around Talia, Charvin, Nocturne, Kane, or Echo. One of these champions. Most likely. And if you want to vote which is the next champion, just join my Discord server and type it. And give me your opinion. And what do you think sh I should be doing? Well, it gives us to Aatrox, that's very fine. Fiddlesticks, Kindred, that that will take a while. I, 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 Fiddlesticks is not gonna be, it's not my plan, my first plan now, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I think I will start on Wednesday, like tomorrow, on Monday, I will take the day off. On Tuesday, I'm not sure if I also will take the day off, maybe. Technically speaking, I would do, start the next Unranked to Master series on Wednesday. That would be my goal. Okay, we don't know where Renga is. We just need to be careful. I'm just gonna cure her here. Okay, she did use her... She did use her W so I can just all in her. The chance I kill her is still low because she has ult. But if she doesn't use ult, I will just run out and take her ult. If she doesn't use ult, I will kill her. Maybe I find a catchy as well. Hey, okay, Maokai does seem like he wants to die too. And I'm gonna go to Herod. Very simple. <laughs> I'm just gonna go towards Herod now. Beautiful. <laughs> nice to see you, Kieran Mudla. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing wonderful. <clears throat> now I wanna play for Dragon now because Soul would be another massive win condition. I can just smite this. Rage plate. Long sword. Wanna go for dragon now. Beautiful! Let's get it! <clears throat> yes, I can do a Diana game when he is banned. But I, I think the Yi journey is probably over very soon. I think after one or two more games, I probably will be in full master MMR. And then we are officially over with the journey. We'll start the next journey next week and probably will go on my main account and do some tryhard challenger games. You guys would like to see that. I'm gonna go this one here. I wanted the queue, I wanted the queue, I wanted the queue. I was one nanosecond away from queuing the minion and being out. One nanosecond. What are the odds that on the exact moment I use my combo on Rengar, Lissandra randomly spawns? Any other champion I would have killed, but Lissandra I cannot. Damn. Damn. <clears throat> You cannot dodge Lissandra ult, you can dodge her animation, and then her ult will not get off cooldown. <coughs> that means you can dodge her ult, yes, but if you do so, she will still have ult. So if you dodge her ult, you can just use your ult right afterwards. That's the exact same for Renekton W. And now I'm gonna take top scan and then I'm gonna go with my Aatrox. We should be in a wonderful position. Need to dodge this one because it's full AP, would it be?
And as you can see, how long I waited to use my W, I waited until Rengar jumps on me. And that is simply because I just focus on the very important things. I focus on important abilities to use my abilities. Keep that in mind, guys. I just want to say this real quick in the end. All I explained in these videos and in my games are based on fundamentals. I explain my thought process, how you should be playing. It doesn't matter if there will be a new season. It doesn't matter if the items change. It doesn't matter if it's another champion. I'm just explaining so you see what you need to do and how you need to think. What exactly you buy, path, and what season it is, doesn't matter at all. Now as well, if you want to improve even faster, you can even DM me on Discord and we will schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Feel free and I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.